Go Koi. We Ed Vance here, and I'm at my favorite place again. Sorry, did you say your name is Ed? Oh Vance? God, that's me. Like Ed Vance? Crazy, right? It just so happens. Ads, here's Eddie. please. Why? Where the heck? Here we go. Oh, yeah. It will be retail for tonight. Because the, the umbi changes. Although I don't know if the beam changes are in retail yet, so it's a little bit weird, but we're doing retail. Uh, what was I trying to do? Oh, yeah. Beam of course they aren't. We can't have nice things. Uh, what is one? Do this thing again. There we go. All right. Let's do this. Do that. And get this here. Okay, that's a touch announcement going. supposed to... I don't understand <laughs> oh that's not what I wanted not what I wanted at all I am actually still gonna be on break from playing the game Tay. Apologies. Can I not make this any smaller? That's quite annoying. Oh, this is gonna be... Hella scuffed then. Whatever. I'll just leave it at that for now. Never thought I'd think my second monitor is too small, but here we are. Yeah, I don't fully get a GP, but... It is what it is. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's better than anything SGCS related for obvious reasons. Again, this is the audio and video check. So please do yell at me if things need to be adjusted. And uh, that's pretty much it so far for the night. My open, uh, or yeah, let's just get an open lobby going so people have some eye candy. Uh, as of right now, I am solo casting, but JP might be able to hop on at some point in time. He's a little occupied in the background. And then, well, yeah, I guess that's it for now. <laughs> mm, sounds good. Where is... here we go. It's... I was, I was actually about to say, it's been a while since I've seen you around, Draco. I... I mean, that's about where I am for Umbi. I honestly haven't fought against her all that much. Um, I just watch and talk with Odd a good chunk and then a little bit with Nope. So I kind of get the gist of the character, at least enough to teach people the basics. Other than that, I mean, I've not actually played the game since Combo Breaker. So I have zero experience playing them. I didn't play her frequently before, and then I have absolutely no knowledge of Dahlia because she hasn't existed in the... <laughs> or she only existed in the time I took a break. <laughs> I mean, it's like, also just, there are so few Umbi players, especially like even on QM or anything, because you have Odd who plays on PSN, I don't think I've run into Note once on QM. Am I remembering that Lonalog might be picking up that team? I, I don't honestly remember. I mean, Umbi is, I don't know if I'd want to call her And in that sense, yeah, she honestly is the new pain wheel. The the difference is she, I think, has already shown she's quite a bit stronger than pain wheel. So her knowledge checking people is 
incredibly potent. That would be the way I... That's at least my understanding of the situation. It could just also be that people haven't figured out the counterplay because she's still a new character. Um, so there's a lot to be seen with Umbi still, especially with how uh, complex or fluid her character is. It's There's a, a good chunk to keep track of that the Umbi players need to learn and then the people need to learn how to deal with the Umbi players using this. Yeah, no, I, w I was I was looking at the uh, I was looking at the signups like in it two or three hours ago, and I saw like six people, and I went, "This is kind of a little sad for our return to a prize pool tournament." And then I refreshed it like 15, 20 minutes ago, and just realized. Oh, <laughs> this bracket kind of exploded. Yep, it will always be everyone joins at the last minute. SGC is... It's a glorious thing. I mean, it's true for a lot of online brackets, period, but... <laughs> everyone waiting to see, yeah. I don't know if I've... Oh, when was the last time Taraska's played in one of these, actually? Wait, that's a name I haven't seen in a GG8 in a while. <laughs> what just happened to you, Sway? <laughs> Understandable. I know Cart is also... Oh no, Cart did join. That, that was me yesterday. I, I kind of know why I was tired yesterday, but I passed out at 9. Like 9 p.m. And, uh... <laughs> I was gone. I woke up at, like, 5 or 6, and then just went back to sleep for another hour or two. First mismatch. No. Oh yeah, I should be bothering people to check in. Thank you, JP. <laughs> I am a great TO. I don't know what any of y'all are talking about. Who wants to hop in the open lobby and uh Got some warm-up games in with Tay. Nah, you got this. No, you need some warm-up, right? Gotta shake off the rust. Yeah. Considering ending my break in August, but I might honestly push it back another month. We'll see. It's funny how much time I freed up for myself to do absolutely nothing else. I told myself I was gonna progress some of my solo solo player, single player games that I just kind of left on the wayside. And they've remained left on the wayside. Maybe slightly more marginally touched than before. Been playing a little bit of League, a lot of bit of Albion. I did dump a ton of time into Astroneer though in a single player world. 
Pleasure's Guide to Eliza. I haven't heard about that in a while. I I'm already trying to learn um, Rivals a little bit, a little bit. That's something else I put a couple hours into. I don't know if I want to try and learn another platform fighter off of that as well. Oh, the game does look like fun. We block, we push block, and we out. Oh, we jump canceled that. Nice. You know, it is a name I haven't seen in a while, normally. That's... The classic. Sewer guy trading. Oh, the rock tag. Bird insurance doing its job. It's still shaking off the rust. Full bros and gals and non-binary pals, welcome. Skull man. And again, this is the video and audio test. So please yell at me if the stream is being wonky or if uh, uh, audio, etc. needs to be adjusted. I actually, hmm, I should probably move the um, maturine. Does it cover any bar? No, you can see all the bar where it is. Audio is quiet. Move. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, game audio or just in general? <laughs> Look, it's it's been a minute, Draco. I, I think you've got an excuse. Okay, mic and game. Actually, instead of messing with that... Here we go. Let's get this over here. Hey, Selfish. Mm. What's going on here is we're just about getting ready to host a dang old tournament with a nice prize pool courtesy of uh, JP. Uh, okay. I upped my mic auto slightly and I should... Be able to change the game audio a little bit. There we go. Hopefully, it's boosted a little bit. Solo Eliza. Unfortunately, that Solo Eliza is uh, dead. <laughs> very, very dead. And just a reminder: this is an open lobby before the tournament has actually started. And everyone's checked in. Dang, we don't have a single soul getting shot.
Where did JP have to add these, like, self-care rewards? It's so rude for people to make me take care of myself. Just, just get the first hit, Draco, and you're fine. Eliza on hit, smile. Hey, it's, it's nice to see there's actually been a reasonable chunk of people picking up the game a little bit recently. And Evo definitely didn't hurt in that regard either. You don't know Eliza pain until you see a double player flesh step through her TP because it counts as a projectile. That... That's a, uh... That is something I will never get over from playing the character. Oh, we're getting schmixed. Is Biceps signed up for today? Oh, okay, yeah, they are. But we got a big tournament, 20 people showing up. I mean, in a... <laughs> Honestly, in the grand scope of things, time doesn't feel like it matters much anymore. <laughs> the past three years have been... a trip. The movement in this game is whack and it also changes drastically from character to character. Like, I, I play Parasol, and then I'll, like, pick Eliza, or I'll pick Fukua, and then I have to remember I don't have that dash anymore. Happy birthday. Hey, yo. That assist is dead. this payout or no? Actually... <laughs> you, but, but you need the money, Dry. Think of how many uh, simulator things you could buy with a payout. Understandable. That is high. It's it's not been great here, but it's not reached one of five. That sounds miserable. It's just nineties and humid here. It's not that bad. No dry. This is still the open lobby. I'm actually hopping out right after this. Thank you all for the matches. Yeah, Texas derogatory is the uh, the phrase you're looking for, Domla. <laughs> uh, oh right, I I hate that this hasn't been figured out yet. Yeah, we're gonna be starting, getting everything set up. Lobby's created. Oh, we got Sunset in last minute, too. Oh, we got a lot of people last minute, Reg. Okay, um, yeah. Stream Lobby. Get this pinned. Can remove the old. Pin. 
make sure I reseed these last bit of entrance because Lamau. Hello? Hello? I'm here. Is that Lord Nomboy? Here to cast. Welcome. Probably won't be able to stay for the whole thing since there's a lot of people, but. Yeah, it's all good. This bracket is thick. Yeah, no, it, it uh. Rolled up last minute. Per usual. Boy. Oh, I gotta get the show in the red. I guess we're processing check in results. Oh, no, JP already got me there. <laughs> Let's start the dangle tournament. Oh, JP started the dangle tournament. <laughs> Man is uh one step ahead of me. Why isn't juice box in this bracket? I need I to see know. all the Phileas. Enter this bracket, juice box. Show but, uh... me how to play Philia. Damn, not home. Not home, unfortunate. I'm trying to figure out which round ones we want to watch. Oh, is this the final bracket? Yeah, it should be. Everything's already started. So I was kind of thinking Shark Baby, and then I'm not sure whether I want to watch Kui Stock or if I want to watch BBP. Yeah, I like the Rodney Shark Baby match, and uh, I like Tay Tarask or Booty Balls and Superior. I'd like to see Superior because uh, yeah. they are going to Evo, and I've never seen them play before. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get Rodney v Shark Baby and uh, BBP versus Superior on stream, and everyone else in round one can go ahead and start your matches. Wow, this is not a really good player. So. Yeah, and this this is a weekly tourney. Yes, um, not every week is a prize pool tournament, but yeah. All right. So who did I say? I said Rodney. Rodney and Shark, and then uh, the Superior and Booty Box. Yeah. Sad to hear that Shark Baby not going to evo i like went through all the brackets today and they, they had like a pretty decent shot of making it out of the bracket but yeah. not gonna be pulling up there will be no uh, tbc at evo probably should have noticed this earlier uh can I ask that you change your name for this stream? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. Appreciate it. I have to be done. It's flexible on the kids on QM. <laughs> Ruby, you know this never starts on time. All right, hopefully it changed. Let's go. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Oh, no. Hope there's a spelling mistake. There's no space. <laughs> Not like this. Have to suffer though. Good enough. I right, got shark baby. Just working on Rodney. I just played a set uh, with Rodney. 
player that's gotten way better recently, so I'm excited to see them. Uh, yeah. play story it's, it's actually really interesting, especially because I have been not playing myself, so I haven't been seeing these people on QM, etc. It's like I'm watching people and all of a sudden random people have just gotten a lot better. And even, it's not even necessarily the newer players as well, because it's like, and this is a little bit delayed, but like, I don't know what the hell Claw's been eating, but those Wheaties, Claw Master. Yeah, Claw went crazy at Combo Breaker. Claw, Claw went crazy at Combo Breaker. Claw went crazy, was it last CCD tournament? Like, they, they've been showing up and just doing things. Oh, really? What did, uh, where did they place in the CCD tournament? I don't think I remember. I might have been just out of top eight, but they 3 0 Graham, I think. Like, Oh, I do remember that they did 3 0 Graham. Um, <laughs> yes, not lay CCD. Has been for God knows how long. I'm Team KJ. Yeah. TK. I'm I'm the leak. I'm the rat. <laughs> so I'm the Team KJ leak. I will give. Oh wait. Man, I really hope Rodney pulls up. Come on, Rodney. Who the okay, which one is actually superior? Uh, I would ask Zali. Zali said that that's their friend. Okay. Oh, Ronnie is here. Let's go. Oh, I think they just didn't. Uh... Yeah, there's two superiors. Like, they're superior, superior, oh. and then the superior. <laughs> First met. He said it on stream. Damn Hydra out here outing me. I mean, you just added yourself. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mole, you know? I'm a double agent. I'm double agent. I see. I gotta leak the information of why, <laughs> where Hydra's hiding for KJ. You know, KJ's out here looking for him. <laughs> Hydra's tucked away in the bunker. And then when he finds him, this man just plays Dahlia. We are running Philia Beatix then. That is the MV2, MVC2 shell. Psylocke Magneto. Get started. Unfortunate drop though. Good block. Nice block. And oh, that pillar, pillar. That bike's won't confirm. And we didn't Suki cancel. This... So I was actually talking to Ronnie. I said this earlier that he needs to use standing heavy punch the way that you use standing heavy punch to hit these anti air. It's Cilia is approaching. Yep. You can slaughter up there. The the only thing it's really hard for Philia to deal with, and she kind of needs to go for buttons she doesn't like going for, like two medium kick. But it's so. we're getting schmixed. We are at full and dizzy though. Uh, oh, this is I'm like we got very yeah, it's still super dead. Alright, Rodney in full control here, looking good. I swear, Juice, you used to complain about two medium kick as a starter, like, scaling you so much. My god, Rodney, let's go! This is not a fun spot for Big Ben again. So we got the parries! Where's the brass? There we go. Look at the damage level 3. Oh, you scaled your level 3 for no reason! Just do it raw! No. Yeah, if you do all level three, you kill their shark, dude. Don't scale your combo. Oh, wait, we... <laughs> we got the parry, probably by accident. Yeah, and it's got smoke. And then didn't realize what side the uh, follow-up was coming in on. But yeah, uh, so... Little tip for you band players, like, you can pick up with level three without doing giant step there. And if you do do the giant step, it scales your combo and you lose, like, a billion damage. Softy, we're not bringing this curse in here, please. <laughs> I don't need to see this. <laughs> uh, let's see if Shark Baby can get us started. I'm trying to see some Philia mix. 
<laughs> we didn't really get to see the Umbi game all that much either. Oh, Mady is one of Nope's protégés. Oh no. Uh, we don't know. You gotta, gotta quake. Yeah. Though. Launch immediately or quake. Nope. Okay, hit with the overhead, and you are dead. What? Not a side swap. Hello. <laughs> we get the corner. I've never seen that one before, and they kill me unless. And a dead Philly. What side was that? I have no idea. I think same side, but who knows with that incoming. We block the DP assist, we give him space out of the corner. Oh! oh we could have reflected those bikes. Alright, see if Umbi can work her way in. Band is bleeding. This is actually a really funny matchup, because Umbi doesn't like dealing with zoners, but at the same time, if Parasol gets a tear reflected on her, she does not enjoy she it. Suffers, yeah. And I actually think the tears are pretty easy to reflect in comparison to the other projectiles. Oh, yeah. They are. And then I think Adivas was talking about Parasol kind of just plays the, the fencing game, the spacing game, and just ignores uh, tier neutral because it still kind of outperforms what Umbi likes to do. With the exception of two medium dick, because that tongue goes far. Yeah, that part is too good. Oh, we're doing this at full and dizzy. I think it would have killed if they didn't trigger your IPS though. Yeah, it was close, but I think it was a guaranteed kill if we did it uh, before the final string. Yeah. Unfortunate routing giving the uh, Umbi another chance. Pretty tough position for Ben. I don't, I don't like Ben against double. But he's got started. And he's and he got 5 meter. I don't think level 5 kills here though. Yeah. Now it does. But Ban with momentum is one of the scariest things to deal with in this game. Oh, we're just cashing. Yeah. Doesn't want to risk anything I respect though. Although we do lose the corner ish. So. Giving the parasol a little bit of space to work with. Yeah, we text into the corner. Nice giant step. Do we have no combo? We do not have combos. Good boss. And this army right, assist is keeping Rodney in the corner. But Para has the life lead in 9 seconds left. It's gonna be next hit. Oh no! The only combo will sweep in this game, and you got yoinked. You'll love to see it. Shark Baby fighting back, 1 1. So, one thing I will say for Shark Baby though is uh, Ronnie did jumping light punch, jump heavy punch, string twice, and you jumped and blocked both times, and you never land cancel. Yep. Land cancel that, man. That was two punishes in a row. You could have ended the game right then and there. <laughs> Every sweep is combo <laughs> If your opponent is bad enough. Honestly, it's the thing about Skullgirls players is some about like the community. It's just everyone auto techs. Round two waits. Round two winner side waits. All right, so you're getting started. What's the mix? No oh, mix we're mix. in. Oh, drop. Okay, big opportunity here. Yep. Yeah. One of the big risks of playing duo. Oh no! Oh no, against heavies, you got a light punch heavy punch. And we mix and get mashed on. Throw. That really hurts. But this beat extend is just eating Rodney up. Is, I think this Baby is real. dead though. No longer Oh, speed, that right? works. Right. I wasn't thinking about that super at all. And on the incoming is disgusting. I hate dealing with it. Like, yeah, watching people try really to deal with it. <laughs> oh, what is happening? <laughs> What's happening? I think I we're watching a parasol get murdered, is what's happening. <laughs> Absolutely hate a shoe. We don't get the bar actually for 2 meter, so not quite dead. Alright, Rodney fighting for his life. 2 medium kick, slurp and slide. That is such an obnoxious Brock.
Brock string, block string to deal with. Oh, Lord Swargan in the chat, one of my favorite players. Ayo, another MB player. What up, Swargan? Never talked to you before, but you're one of my favorite players. Hmm. Keep grinding. I love your play. You I want to see you top play four. You play Peacock. Why do you hate on Parasol? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> this man's running away from nice. Ophelia. She's scary. Really good crouch medium punch there to set the match up. Oh. Alright, what's the mix? Oh, we got nice land pillar. canceled pillared. Oh my god. Can't quite chicken block uh, Phoenix end, unfortunately. So he gets another chance here. Oh, the draw. Missed the, the block. Reset. Good block. Reset neutral too. A little bit more jab than neutral would really help broaden yeah. me out there. We, we need to see some land canceling. There's so many opportunities to land cancel in these matches. Oh! The corner messed us up actually. Unnecessary reset, but it- Oh! We missed oh, a drop! With punish. Quirk Mady looking in pretty good control. Good lands canceled by Rodney though. I'm just talking about it. <laughs> Keep it nice and simple. Okay with that. What's our mix? Cross up. We are patient? Oh, but... That's the, hard. The RKO. We missed the grab opportunity. Can Rodney can still do this. Oh, oh here we nice go. Up. No! What? Bl Double! You're blind! <laughs> How'd she turn around? All, he, all you had to do was climb that and you get a happy birthday. All you had to do. Oh, this band's gonna hurt though. Oh, the bubble! That actually worked out there. I'm these be pressing. This will not kill. A lot of damage. Tuck out of the corner? No? Nope. Oh, that's not what we wanted, but no punish. There we go. Should be game. But as I say that... Oh my... <laughs> GG's. Shark Baby takes it. Uh, the unintentional parry right before a DP. Isn't a... We take this. stand heavy punch. It's like minus 7 or something. I, I think it's like pretty safe. There's no way, it's minus, no way it's minus 7. It's minus 5. It's minus Are 5. Are you serious? Yes. I knew it was something ridiculous. Yeah, it's minus 5 on block. I guess it's because of the startup, but that's silly. Yeah, for a heavy one that has that much range, and then it's minus 5? Crazy. Yeah, yeah I, I guess you really are supposed to shoot him and start up for that then. Is that a little dark profile picture? I'm not sure. It's a little blurry. Can't see. I Might be dark. Tell you. Looks like dark. <laughs> but yeah, we got BVP and... And the superior, not superior, superior. Uh, do you want to pick our round two matches now so that the others can play, or do you want to wait? Uh, we probably... Yeah, we probably could. Alright, who do you want to see? If uh, I can pick one, I want to see Biceps. Biceps v Nebby sounds good, and then I was also thinking Sunset v Missing, no? I like that one. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay. All right, so if you're not Sunset and Megi Misino and Biceps and Nobu, you can play your round two. Excited to see Superior though. They are pulling up to Evo. This is our first time we get to see them on stream right before the big tournament. Yeah. See what they can do against TBC's own BBP. DBC is definitely another group of gamers who can see improving a good bit. 
Yeah, their uh, upper players are definitely getting a lot better. Love to see it. And again, Sharkbait is also one of them where there are not on the echelon of player of like nope or odd, but they're learning Umbi. They're starting to get there. This Steam Girl, it's it. He's definitely, they're all getting a lot better. Yep. Yeah. But this battle's getting started. And BBP does a lot when they get a hit. Yeah, that is very strong one hit. Oh, we dropped. Unfortunate for Superior, though. It looks like they pushed Lock there and got hit cross up. Oh, the two MK assists? That's cheap. Another layer. This double Can doesn't already. This is actually pretty good. A two hitting low like that? That's also a normal. I don't know if I've seen BVP actually rock that assist that much. Oh, we have the stare down. Bring back the heart, please. That's so funny. I agree. Like, look at that two hit low and a little bit of lockdown on the mix up. Oh, we just right, so lock it. started. Pull this up. Yeah, we're out. Yeah, no way to punish. I'm curious actually if SBO is invulnerable for long enough to go through the scalpels. Not sure. Because the scalpels the yeah, are a little bit thick. I like the fact that Superior is like playing slow, taking their time. They're playing squiggly, there's no rush here. Yeah. Squiggly game Played plan. Green light. Definitely kind of waits for them to make a mistake and then catches them swinging. We also got the meter to abuse those mistakes. We have the meter and the time to play this way. But BBP just goes in. Oh, that's not even that's death. This is a very aggressive Valentine. Alright, BBP on the board. And besides BBP and Gray, you oft actually don't really get to see Fell players be all that aggressive because you got the likes of Cloud and Tyrone hogging up the spotlight. Yeah, those two are definitely the runaway vows. And then I, I would say Eye Control is definitely a little bit more on the rushdown side, but he, he will still zone you out if he has to as well. Yeah, that's fair. But and no. Have like, uh, what was it, Outlaw? He's like the epitome of runaway yeah. now. Outlaws. Uh, God. And then you have these two just doing raw full screen bypass. It's like, you're gonna press a button, I know you are. Hey man, if you got the read, you got the read. I respect it. And that's been working so far. And... I'm like a little thing from the Superior, though. Like, a new player hasn't been playing that long, but clearly, like, they know fighting game. Yeah. They're holding down the neutral. Being patient. Struggling to tag this Valentine, but the valentine special so they're, they're willing that. to entertain the neutral you know you love, love to see that a little bit of nooch footsies we are swinging are. nice overhead though but we finally ran ourselves into the corner and now we got to deal with this this is a dead cat very dead cat load of vial could have got two. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try again. That oh, uh, didn't quite combo. Almost Wi-Fi time. Orange vial is so cheap, man. Punch. And now a dead robo as well. Swigly's yeah. gotta do a lot of work again. Gonna be hard for the superior. But uh, definitely a lot of the uh, experience difference is showing here. Yeah. Although superior is holding it down and playing pretty well. Oh, we got fridged. Don't have the experience for PvP just yet. Oh, we dropped. Wait, that was a blue bounce, right? Uh, yeah, it looked like if they, they could have out of that one. We got hit with the fake combo. Like, it was purple? So I, okay. 
I actually don't know this. Maybe you know this, Dons. In SG, can you hold a button to tech, or do you actually have to press the button to tech? I actually, I want to say it's press, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Yeah, I'm actually not sure either, and I've been playing this game for <laughs> years. That's crazy. It's kind of something you just do and then never think about. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's so funny because everyone texts. It's like, what are the things you can do to mess with people's pressures? Just not tech, because everyone's so used to tech chasing. Right. We got the. You will definitely tech. catch people like whipping buttons if you don't tech. Oh yeah. All right, BBP's in this. The Valentine Pro. I don't know why, but like. For some reason, Valentine just sprint up and throw you just works. It's something you, you see every Val do. He's quick on the ground, you don't expect it. It's a pretty nice throw rate. It's like, I, I'm still so used to seeing Robos do it to the point where like I can tech that in game, but I see a Valentine run at me, I'm like, now nah, I'll hold this. And yeah, then... yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely fall victim to both of us. Like, you're not supposed to be approaching me. Who would do this? Oh, we got the hit. The max range confirm off that bomber. Wow, nice block. I got it there. Fortunately, we were back to for the corner anyway. Oh, I this think that the... actually hit Grosso. We got... Even though it completely looks like Valentine hit... Uh, same side there, I think that jumping heavy punch hit cross -up. Yeah, there are some really weird things. Valentine and Annie, especially, really get to just say guess, because where they're... I don't know if it's technically their anchor point, but wherever the game actually thinks they are does not line up nicely with where the character actually is. Yeah, there's a pretty nice tell with Valentine, so you can only get it if she does crouching light kick in the corner for, I think, one or two hits. So if you see that, you, you can tell it's coming, but it's still pretty rough to block. Yeah, but BBP running away. 3-0. It's time. Notable cat player, Sunset Radiance. Get to... On the stream. Yee. Yeah. Get to see Sunset Gaming. It's been a minute since they've been in uh, B Great, if I remember correctly. The notable cat girl herself. Poor and then we. And this is also like a relatively classic matchup for this community in general because both of these players have been around for a hot minute. Oh, yeah. You're definitely about to see some zoning. I do not know if Missing No is like an OG OG player. I know Sunset for a fact is, but they've both been around for at yeah, least Sunset's half a decade. A, like Sunset's a fossil at this point. <laughs> a dinosaur. Been here forever. I wonder which team Sunset's gonna go with. Though. We right, got Cat Girl of the Stars. The classic. I remember when Sunset played Philly. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, Sunset's played a lot of teams over the years, but it's always been Fortune Robo and then some, Something, yeah. or oh, just the duo. Over it. You're dead. This team is so unfair. What do you mean? <laughs> she died. I think we could have just done Stinger and saved meter for the opponent, but. Either way, Annie in the corner is kind of scary. Alright, let's see move. Oh no, we dropped oh, it! Unfortunate. She do be small. And 2 LP. The god button itself. That shit's ridiculous, that fun. Hey, we're dead here. Two bars. Yep. Cash out. Parasol with five bar is not necessarily something to be scuffed at, but this is a yeah, team one. she does not like dealing with. One bad assist call and missing goes right back in there. Yeah, 
But first she's got to deal with a robo with a DP assist behind it, no less. And then after that, if you get through that, you've got a cat to get through. <laughs> and especially because Sunset is a headless enjoyer, you might have a bit of a rough time. Yeah, she's very good at this matchup too. But we got the hit. And double jumped out of immediately. Alright, this is death. God, every time I see Parasols use stand medium pick, it scares me. That button is wildly Save. inconsistent for no reason. Save. Yep, like the head's off. The other side um, nom, 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 nom. You are dead. You dared to press a button with the head right in front of you. Oh no! Too early. Rare drop. Alright, Sunset, call Annie. Why would you call Annie? Oh my Annie? god. <laughs> wow! We are calling the call DP assist again. full screen. We'll call her again. And counter hit. Do we have these routes or are we just gonna go for mix? Oh, this won't work because you're in the corner. You had to delay yeah, it. Unfortunate. Chipped, yep. So unfortunate. Yeah. We would have got that heavy counter hit there. That would have been a dead cat, and we had four bars for the ante. We were we were working our way in slowly. Losers plays. We usually do top six, so losers plays until loser round five. I should actually write that down. Yeah, loser or winners round two. Make sure you're playing your round two matches. Yep. Unless your biceps. Alright, we got the nooch. Actually, a replay of the matchup we've already seen. Oh, we were overextended into the DP. And now the cat's got the corner. Gonna need one more? There it is. You're dead. Oh, never mind. We did not do the right combo. Now you're dead, though. There we go. Murder. Bought herself a little bit of undizzy to work with. It's almost all That's gone now. Good tech, too. Dang. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Great defense. Yeah. Gotta get out of this corner, though. Oh, we were out! And then we jumped back Ooh, in. We back in! And now we got a... Oh, almost dead Robo in the corner. Should be dead now. And we're right back in the exact same situation the parasol was in last game. And coming in the corner with a whole lot of bar. Good block. Push block her out. I would be mashing for my life. Mash on this girl. <laughs> oh, we're just pressing forward. Get we started. got. Oh, too late. Yeah, we got work to do and we're trying to get it done, but it's definitely a very risky approach. Not the stubby 2LP. I just want to see Missing No use their bar. You got five bar and you can be safe on block. You gotta just use it. Garfield, you had bar! <laughs> oh, and we're playing Oki. Hold this. Oh, Sunset being very patient, but we got caught. Sunset going up 2 0. Two games where we're ending with a lot of meter. A meter that we can use to be plus on block. We, we gotta use that. Just mash it. It doesn't really matter. She's not gonna bait you out of it. She'll block it. Worst case, you know? And there's nothing her team can do to react to it. Unless you eager cancel early. Which Parasol players tend to do. <laughs> I am guilty of this myself. Same. I'm very guilty. Because <laughs> the, the most notable example is Annie Stinger. Because that actually involves through a lot of the uh, level 3, but not quite all of it. You gotta watch for that and double. Uh... Oh, we didn't get the second hit of Stand Heavy Kick. I'm missing no finally gets a chance to get their offense started with the Valentine. See what they can do with it. Oh, an unfortunate drop. Yeah, when we're setting up this, the classic. That's like the OG setup. I actually still need to learn that. It's, what if our beam's touched? 
Sunset not afraid to take the head off like other cat players. Sunset grieves headless fortune. So. Very comfortable. Yeah, was d definitely the person I went to with questions when learning the character. She's been playing it at a high level for a very long time. It's facts. Even when I was learning fortune, I went straight to Sunset. First person I asked. Alright, we're zoning though. We got yeah. a little Tyrone gameplay going on. Let's go. And Sunset is slowly losing the life lead, so she will need to do something hit. about this. Yeah, let's go. Let's Very go. bold choice, but oh, we got five, five meter already. Please use it. Got a vial too. Pretty good. Three bars. Yeah. I don't think this got kills oh. though. We had to cancel early. Almost the TOD. But now Sunset's got five bars of her own. Oh, I don't know. We're agree doing this. With that, Interesting. I would have ended with Magnet. But... Yeah, the. Under the two? The Dismember Super. Is not the greatest at max scaling, max energy. It's a decent chunk of damage, no doubt, but. She very well just could have wanted the head back. So. That is also true. But this could be a dead cat. Ah, uh, we don't get two meter. I actually don't think it kills. Yeah, yeah we put ourselves in the corner, that's not good. Gotta chip this cat out though, we gotta get rid of her. Yep, any raw tag. Gets out safely. Heavy counter hit. Oh, oh we got it. We don't get a conversion off of this, but we get Oki. Nice. That's and an anti air. He you really don't see Robles use that option that much, honestly. Not as much as I probably should. Yeah, it's a pretty low commitment option. Like, L Danger is good. You also don't see that used often either, though. Only really after they saw and then realized they're screwed. Yeah. Owl Danger I can understand a little bit more since the reward is kind of crap, but that 2 LP is really good. Yeah. Oh, nice we got super. it. Yep. And then we just control until time runs out. Oh, no time. Yep. yep. Sunset with a pretty good showing. Yeah, looking really strong right now. But when Missing No gets started, Missing No is proving that they can hit and mix Sunset. They just had to like uh play a little bit more clean not drop their combos not drop their mix up good games to both of this play he i literally thought four bars was enough yeah i thought that was gonna kill too that, that was really close yeah the, the main issue was i think full on dizzy honestly if you had done a route outside of a max on dizzy and like meter dumped then and then done the final parasol string i think it would have been a lot better because undozzy really shoots your super scaling hey we got nebu versus biceps big biceps pasha biceps i'm probably the only person who knows where biceps name like even comes from <laughs> in the SGC. Like, no cs players in the sgc like none at all I mean, I'm, I was a baby, baby CS player. I don't think I ever even got out of a... Yeah, there's a player called Pasha Biceps, and he used to flex his biceps. Oh, <laughs> like, no, yeah, he I know him. He was, he was a Na'Vi player, right? Or am I crazy? Yeah, for a while, I believe. Yeah, and then he's just sort of retired to streaming, right? Uh, yep. Full-time streamer. That's where Biceps' names come from. Nice. Pasha. Yeah. Probably a master. I'm ready to see them next. Whoa, Nebu with the solo Valentine? Is this what they normally play? I think so. We actually have a lot of Valentines this tournament, and I really wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah. Not one of the more common fixes. Iceps definitely one of the scariest all hit players for Philia. I mean, you need to be scary with Philia if you're gonna make her work. She's got that mix. 
now never struggling to escape. Okay. Cross up. Yep, that's a cross up. You see that light kick? You gotta be ready to block cross up there. Oh, this might be bad. Wow, 2 LP! Good mash. We gotta get a hit and snap or do something, we need some help. Yeah, we are really hurting. And eating another lock and load really doesn't help. Punish? Not quite. Actually, counter hit ourselves. Yeah, yeah tough there we go. all there. I usually make that exact same choice though. I get them as close to dead as possible, snap. And then either try and kill it as an assist or get another hit and snap them back in immediately. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. I think in most cases I definitely do snap there as well. But that was that was Annie at the stars. I if I see that girl, I gotta kill it. <laughs> She's so scary. Yeah, there, there's that's one of the really interesting things that comes up with playing solo that you don't really need to think about any other time. It's like, where is this meter best used for? Do I do I yeah. want to kill a character? How much do I value my health? Risk reward? Like, do, will I win this next incoming? Etc. It's tough to call. Like, I I normally think if the snap will let you survive two hits, it's worth it. But if you snap and you're still gonna get hit in one combo anyway, then yeah, that's the point. But like to make that decision in a split second and the game this fast, not easy. I respect biceps not going for the punish on those uh, scalpers like that. I would do the same thing. So. I've been hit too many times trying to go for that punish. Right, let's get started. Cross up. Nice. Dodge Rare oh. drops from biceps, though. Oh, that was awkward. We had to save that. But... Nebu is dead. Biceps looking fully in control right now of this man. Yeah. And this man's been game and he's been showing up and doing really well. Yeah, Biceps has been on a tear recently. Every tournament I see them entering, they're easily making top three. Hey, what? He did he get second at CC and D and he also got first or second at a local, like right before, didn't he? Yeah, I, I think the day he played in CC and D he won the local and then entered CC and D and got second. Then definitely putting in the work. I believe they are going to Evo, so we should see a strong performance out of them as well. Yeah, yes. deep. It'll be really interesting to see the players going to Evo, because while there are some old heads in the obvious like top players going, there's kind of a lack of the old guard of like middle upper tier players that you'd see fell out of top 16 or top 32 and we have a lot more players from like the newer cc and d members or biceps yeah that's definitely true and so we get another tourney to kind of see how they all fold down like all our top players are there but you're right that old guard around the top 16 area not everyone's there this tournament so let's see some new names Hopefully put up a good enough show and uh, the, they want to host us again. Oh yeah, I am supposed to be yelling at people to pick the Evo stage because JP really likes blue. <laughs> My bad. It's really nice. I played on it today. I, the map, it's really nice. That blue looks real good. Yeah. It looks like a blue haze over everything, which I kind of don't know how I feel about. Hmm. Oh my god, we did it to him. Counter Venom. Alright, Nebu, you gotta win this round after that. You gotta win. Come on. 
This is the best chance Nebu's given himself, but unfortunately still not quite it. Biceps Annie taking it. Pasha mid with the ult. Just too strong. <laughs> <laughs> too strong. Wait, hey, that is all the way through. Oh, we had some close matches. Clawmaster going 3 2 with uh, BBP, and we had a 3 2 between Zali and Quistar. I think we should get the people on stream who we haven't seen in a bit. Or, well, this tournament at least. I'm thinking Softy V Cart and then Ruby V Claw Master. Yeah, I'm cool with that, but. I have one request. When we get to round four, I have to see Wings here. Oh, yeah. Can. No, uh, from round four on, uh, pretty sure everything from winners is getting streamed. I can see Sunset getting that upset, though. Let's go, Sunset. That is also true. I, I, I have three. no doubt Wing will find a way to make it into uh, some streamed matches, though. Specs. They are a phenomenal player. He might be playing the trio. I have seen him pull out the trio in some online brackets. So. I think they I pulled out the trio cool. at Combo Breaker as well to play against uh, Odd. I'm about to fold. We can get out of here. Get out of here with the... Alright, so who are we saying? Softy Cart? Yeah, what, Softy. Softy Cart. Yeah, Softy Cart and then Claw Master versus Ruby. Rubith Chandler, if you will. Lord Ruben. I'm excited to see Softy play. I always like seeing Softy play because they have like insane tag routes. So. They, yeah, they're especially, I mean, more so for Pain Wheel, but. Because the pain wheel tag is still, I mean, you can argue whether it's a bug or a feature at this point. But they still do other things for some of their other characters, too. Cart and what part? And like honestly, the really interesting thing to me, actually, talking about tag routes, is I remember when people were picking up Annie, people did tag routes a lot more for the character. Like, I remember the first couple so, yeah, weeks. I do remember where, especially like double Annie, people would set up into the tag for Annie. Like, granted, her DHC routes are phenomenal, but I'm curious as to why that isn't well, that kind of as popular, popular an option yeah. anymore. Yeah. Softy choosing to play the trio instead of the duo. I thought Softy would play the duo. Yeah. I have a feeling they're giving it a test and. Depending on the results of this game, they might swap the other team. So, Cart, a newer player, but has definitely been making waves as of recently. I've uh, seen a lot of improvement from them. Yep. Holding down the Mal Classic, Bella Brass. I miss Mal. Doing a lot of damage. Shout out to the Mal. Alright, Cart getting started. Good blocks from Soft Dude. And we're out of the corner. The softy did lose their first Yep. That has me a little worried. Oh, we didn't get the block. Yeah, they were blocking during the hit stop. And oh, no. our dome gets clipped. Oh, There's a lot of Bella butts. Yep. It's definitely a hallmark of this team. Oh, we're sending it. <laughs> we got hit though. Fan's got a little bit of red health. Mixie? Mixie? Softy's still on this. Yeah, so Softy, and then a little bit Rat Baby are definitely the pain wheels you'll see pull out the much more whack stuff that you've never seen before. The more cursed pain wheel. So. Yeah. Because you kind of get used to the standard QM or tournament pain wheel, and then you'll run into Softy and Rat Baby who talk about the game a lot and share a lot of their tech. Just run you over with some whack mix you've never seen before. I have no idea how you got hit there, Softy. We saw that too. 
Yeah, that definitely looked weird. You were like straight blocking on my screen. Skullgirls uh, stays towing people sometimes. Especially when it's Bella Band. You cannot <laughs> afford to make a singular mistake against Bella Band. You will lose all your health if you do. Yeah. That has been shown time and time again by God knows how many people who have played the show, but especially the really optimal ones. Again, Cart and Mal. They just. Alright, Puka, we're getting started. This is soft. Oh, oh my god. That was that? dirty. Hi, low? But we're out. And that was a heavy counter hit. We don't have OTG, which really hurts Bella. That's okay. Good escape. And we've run ourselves into the corner. Cheeky little slap of grass, though. Great anti air. Yeah, that was incredible. I would not have done that. Oh. Wow. I am gonna get out of there. We didn't quite get punished. It was really risky, but pretty cheeky. We sent it. Yeah, we just be doing it. We got enough health. Get to uh, abuse the ratio a little bit. Can afford to play a little riskier sometimes. Because if that brass hits, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble. Oh, we got wow. him. Yoink. Magnet hands. And we're angry. Put a little magnet hands. Ratio, so this definitely won't heal as much as Softy probably would like, but. Oh, that, that was a reset? Oh. But this is a dead bands now. Card pressing buttons, buddy. A little bit of panic. Now, this Bella's gotta chase down one of the best runaway characters in the game. Simply run. Fly to the top of the screen and sit there. That's all I want to see you do. If you do anything else, I will be so disappointed. I'm it's like, so disappointed. It is, it's really upsetting because it's like, that is one of the optimal ways to play Payreal, but at the same time, you're like, not playing the character. Oh no. It just if, like we're in tournament, please just sit at the top of the screen <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Now this Robo has actually got to be the one to approach a Bella, which is terrifying, but we got hit with the classic. Ah, you hate to see it. Yep, and then it's 2-0 to cart. See if Softy feels like they need to change their team up or not. I personally would never fight Bella Band with a trio, but I'm not playing in this bracket, so... <laughs> Different people does have too much damage. yeah. Different people have very different takes about how they would deal with a lot of different teams. Because it's like, should you meet? Should you meet a do like even just in general? Should you meet a duo with a solo? Should you meet a duo just with another duo? Technically, yeah. is trio v duo still actually better if you play optimally? Can you perform optimally in that sort of setting? It's a ton of factors for sure. It's definitely an interesting conversation that also drastically changes from player to player their perspective on the best way to deal yeah. with things. Especially if you know that you have like a strong solo in your bag too and that you can always pull out. I think that's really nice to have. Yeah. Especially against like a duo. But then I also see people who say duo is the counter pick to solo, etc. So it's like... There's no winning, everyone disagrees. Yeah, that's SG. Everyone has that. Oh, Mixy! But Softy again winning the nooch. Oh, but Cart fought really well out of that pressure. So and now you block mix. this next mix or you die. Great block. Good mash, too. You do a lot of damage there. And I mean, honestly, just keeping the momentum out of the Bella's hands is just as important. That That's five frame standing heavy for We didn't get the H Luger out in time. And we got knives to the face. Scary situation now for Softy. Yeah. Um, uh, Counter hit the butt brass. Can we leave ourselves some Indizy for incoming? Oh, that's a heavy counter hit. Softy is killing your character for this. But I don't think we got the sweep to Oh yeah, Softy can definitely win if the bell is off the table. Because this is not I've a fun matchup I've seen Softy OCV people with Fuku far too many times. 
Softy is a great Kuo player. And it's not a great matchup for Band, but Band got the final hit they needed. I don't yeah, think Card drops these. The real question is, are we going for the side switch for now? Just raw like here. Gets the meter. Ends it cleanly. The mouse quick to her. Right, GG's yeah. the cart. Softy showing they knew how to deal with it in neutral, but then a couple small drops. Cart gets out. Yeah, cart has like a good read. It's a scramble. <laughs> Just throw the top. I honestly don't understand why people say throw timpani. I feel like if I don't have a midi button out on timpani, like that's the only way to deal with it. I ca I cannot throw it. Yeah, I never ever try to throw timpani. I try to button it. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Ruby! <laughs> Yo, the pizza <laughs> He's got the picture and everything. That's crazy. Oh no! Oh he, yeah, he did Photoshop the logo on the polo. Rupert Chandler, let's go. That's Jonathan Clawman. I love saying Jonathan Clawmaster even though his name's not even Jonathan. It's just the funniest thing to uh, We got Jonathan Claw against Pizza Hut Manager. A good game. Ruby not playing the sub team. They, yeah, they've been... It's weird, they've kind of just been alternating between the two. But thanks for playing Tay. It happened. You won't have to finish uh, the cross-continent connection. It's the worst. Alright, Ruby getting started with the mix. Ooh, nice block. Nice block again. Ruby has hype. I think this is a kill here. Funny hit. Cra oh, we dropped ah. it. A rare Ruby. How did that drop? Yeah. Yeah, this oh is a win. <laughs> that is illegal. Not allowed. Get her out. Yep. Oh, what a confirm. Do we take the heavy counter hit? No, we snap. Yep, I agree. Snap, yeah. Oh, Ruby taking Softy's advice. Go for the ground throw while calling the anti air grab. Cheap. You better tech that. Seen ban or falls banned in a while. Um, it's hopefully... it definitely ban has always been their weak point, so I'm hoping to see them like uh, buff it up. Like the squiggly yeah. is definitely the star, you know. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I mean just in general, ban is a clunky character regardless. But Claw has definitely been putting more okay. in bands. It's yeah, been... that. That was the optimal. That's huge improvement. I've ne I never see Claw go for that, so... Hey, he's been putting in the work. Let's go. And now we gotta approach uh, clapping hands. What's the mix? Where's bait? Oh, we did fill up a dizzy. Oh, we got it. <laughs> the classic. We've been Chandler. On the Can board. He could have buried that. Oh yeah, you can parry. I was also thinking of, uh, can you timpani out of the way in time? Not sure. Probably depends on how quickly you react to it. Yeah, how which quickly is, you, uh... Yeah. It's asking a lot. Hydra, you chose to play League. You did this to yourself. <clears throat> I mean, these two probably had to play a ton at Combo Breaker since they were rooming together. I don't think... They gotta be pretty familiar, right? I don't think uh, Clubmaster was in the room with uh, Ruby. Oh, I thought, I thought they didn't remember that. I thought... so... They, they probably still got games, because I'm pretty sure Ruby was playing at the sets a good chunk, but... Um, I'm pretty sure the Ruby room was Ruby, Zolly... Uh, Who's the person that's been 
posting all the tech videos for... for oh, Komodo. Komodo, yeah. Right, we're checking that assist, but Ruby also lost the star of his team. Sure. Not to say that Hezbollah and Band can't do it, it's just Bayo is definitely... Slow. Nice play. Oh no. Yeah, that's... And we have the meter too. That's why you don't play duo. Oh, this just became really tough for Paul. Yeah. Although... Claw does have a nice thing in the player matchup where Ruby doesn't mash a whole lot, but Squiggly really just like you enough. Well, Squiggly just took the lead, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I want to say, yeah, Ruby still needs two touches. Might still need two touches. I don't remember yeah, how... Yeah, two touches here with the meter. And especially the ratio. Yeah. If it's a bad starter, honestly, three. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. One's a throw, yeah. But Ban does have the light belt no longer. It's about this to is say. so scary, though. It's yeah, well, what in the... Light. Wow, I'm yeah. impressed after that. You're a fucking madman, Ruby. <laughs> Man, it worked out. That's crazy. Right, this one more. killed me. Oh, we just taking Goki? Yes, I agree. Patient. I don't know if you needed to be that patient, though. Because band giving little... people space is always a terrifying prospect. When I saw that SPO, the devil on my shoulder was like, bury it. That's how it do it. Oh my god! Ricky. Do you die off that? No. No meter. I mean, even with the meter, this character doesn't deal damage. Oh, we didn't have to confirm. Oh. <laughs> the little... The little jiggle feels like a little I hate that. Honestly, if you're a squiggly player, Knowing how to make SBO as awkward to deal with as possible is one of the most infuriating things to deal with. Yeah, that was well played by Claw. Yeah. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Clawmaster fighting back. Especially after a double snap, too. Yeah, just the, just the squig. Oh no. Oh, we're pressing Ruby. on the way down. Counter hit group? Yep. Same side mid. Gonna need two more? Yeah. Well, I was gonna start thinking about Tekken though, because Ruby has definitely seemed to figure out it's what works. Yeah, I hit him on oh. the ground. Oh, the... There he went for the tech and got it low. <laughs> yep, the second I say that. Yep. Perios, but we got hit low anyway. Ruby looking real nice, let's go. Yeah, Bayo doing Bayo things. Keep him in the corner. What a confirm. Light counter hit, come on, Ruby. You're better than this. Probably still kills any. Oh no! We hit three bar. What, what in the world was that? You. Oh, the box. Good patience to Ruby. Did not want to risk messing that up. Yeah, uh, I would have risked that and got hit 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, patience paying off. 2 1. Very convincing game for Ruby. I feel like it would, especially if Bayo decides to hop dash. It was just randomly tall in awkward situations. Just sitting here watching this Bayo single player gameplay and thinking, <laughs> why does CC and D have two of these? Isn't my character two great? Two of these guys. It's interesting though, because they've definitely fallen out of favor over um, 
fortune oriented teams now. But I definitely remember, especially when I was playing the game and watching tournaments, it was the flavor of the month team to be seen. Oh, you got caught hacking. Oh, yeah. Alright, what's the mix? Low. Fastball, low. One more mix and this character's dead. So we burst. Oh, yep, that interaction. The only time Bella Alpha can is use with the Dynamo. Okay. Oh, she can't super cancel out of it, right? Uh, no, she can, because it's special. Well, actually, I don't know. Because. Because it's a grab. Yeah, I, I, I feel like. Uh, command grabs don't let you. Oh, we're jumping into it. I'm curious if we snap in the band here. Oh, we just dropped. Never mind. <laughs> this Axilla is catching claw, though. Yeah, it really is. She can't cancel. Okay, so she can't do it. Yeah. Because one thing I actually feel like I've seen Bellas do less recently is Alpha Counter 360. That option oh, yeah. is. Toxic, I swear. <laughs> You'll see TJ still do it, but you're right, I don't see it from a lot of Bellas. Yeah. Alpha Counter is still one of those things where it's like, yes, it's very character slash team dependent, but I feel like I don't see enough even at like a top level play. It's interesting. Now that I play band, I do it all the time, but before then I used to never do it. Yeah. Oh, look at that damage. Two SMJs. Oh my god. Claw can still very much win this game. Especially if they get the touch corner carry. Mm -hmm. And they get two touch that band oh, with the ratio. Ruby needs one more though. Oh no. Oh my. That was almost so bad for Ruby. Yeah. Nice. We're embracing it. Butt brass to take the set. I really don't see Ruby do that all that often either. Ready. Had to read. Let's go, Ruby. 3-1. Shoutouts to Claw. I see the improvement in the band, Claw Master. I like it. Keep that shit going. I see the improvement. It's definitely been putting in work and it's definitely paying off. But yeah, now we get to see the player you wanted to watch. My goat. Wing, wing zero. We Yo, got wing. wing versus cart on stream. And who's on deck? Biceps v Ruby, which is also honestly a fairly common sight here. Yeah, towards the ends of brackets for sure. Especially because it felt like they were both getting up to par around the same time. Yeah, they they yeah, you're right. Like around the same time, both of these two really came into themselves and were like winning almost every tournament for like a month straight. My, my favorite thing about Biceps is, like, I, I'm playing him in uh, the Looking for Game stuff. I'm like, you know, I feel like you should probably be advanced. And then I tried to, like, get uh, the advanced test scheduled and then going for, like, three months while this man kept on just running through brackets and winning. I'm like, can we just give him the role, please? Yeah, right, like, at that point. <laughs> and then he's kept on getting better. But it's... It's wild. Biceps is one of those people where I, I'll ask for games in the Get Great Discord, and if Biceps replies, I'm like, damn, if I got played this dude, like, definitely not trying to fight Biceps. He's a scary motherfucker. Oh, it's only Umbrella and Fuqua armor throw. I thought it was universal for all the Fuqua stuff. All right, Wing pulls out the trio. Art does struggle to deal with Parasol, so we'll see how this goes. And the Parry got the hit. Wings Parasol oh. disgusting. Yep. It looks a little bit rusty at a Combo Breaker, but I mean, they always play this character. This, it's their second Parry after Philly, right? Yeah, I would say so. I've seen them play this team the most other than Philly. Oh, I'm not really sure almost. if he would call it his official second, but... Damn. I, I definitely played it. Good block. Yeah, incredible. I, I, I 
asked for games on PSN and played it. At first not realizing who it was. And I just got washed in the Paradiddo. I'm like, who is this? Yeah, well he's got like a different name in the PSN this way. I only know from the profile picture. Yep. But this band's got a lot of work to do. Getting the hits a good start. Yeah, get something started. I'm curious how much meter we want to spend to kill this first character. None by just resetting twice in a row. I like that uh, overhead attempt too from Tart, but I'm shocked one block. Oh, well, yeah, we didn't have the Endezzi to do our route. We just. Kill her. Kill her right now. You gotta make some yeah. kill. You cannot let her live. No. Oh, we greeted. And now we might pay the price. <laughs> Keeping it simple. No matter what, you cannot yeah. let Wing have this character on the screen. Yeah. You need to be really confident in your band to deal with Wing's Philia. Yeah. It's like, Catpie has shown the matchup is actually... Rough for Philia, but you gotta like, be Catpie Ben. Doable, but... You gotta be cat pie levels of cracked on that character. And then especially with an L shot behind, it makes it so much harder. That assist is such a nuisance. You gotta hit those band standing jabs. It's the, it's the only way. Jabs are such a good tool in this game. And especially versus a lot of IED characters. Like, you obviously see it with Parasol, but Eliza Jab, while it's kind of meh for a lot of things, it is phenomenal at stuffing IEDs. Yep, it's and, so good for stuffing Philia. And there's a ton of characters whose jabs kind of, that's their best use. And the problem is when people play against Philia, especially a really intimidating or confident Philia like Wing, you get afraid to press anything because you go, I don't exactly. want to get hit. But yeah. that's exactly what they want you to do. You gotta be pressing. Although, in the time it took us to say that, Card already took the parasol, so. Wing finally getting started. The no mix mix up. Oh my right god. Right into the level three or the level one. We just going into combo. Yep. Oh, oh, we dropped. Very patient from Wing. I really like these empty jump throws from Kart though. Not giving them the uh, push block at some and going straight for the command grab. Yeah. We're just going for Oki. Oh, we didn't have OTG. Never mind. I am a fool. So weird. Oh? You're right. dead. Yeah, card should be on the board. Oh no! Right, no! You gave you gave Wing a chance. That's block. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so scared for you, Kart. So scared for you. Especially because it's a uh, ratio. This Philly has got to touch three, maybe four times. But... We're gonna have four touches unless we get a burst bit. Yeah, especially with them busy, but. Oh Wing God, just. We're getting mixed. Oh. <laughs> Where's the mash? Oh! Good Did reactions. Oh my god, it didn't chip out. No! Wing motherfucking zero, this guy. Are you serious? This guy. Cart tries to get the chip out victory with, but, but it doesn't quite reach. What a fucking gamer. You cannot mess up versus this man's failure. Oh, you have to kill it. <laughs> she must die. Cannot drop that game winning combo. You had the combo, dropped it. Man wins with 20 HP. That. Uh... <laughs> and, and you keep on seeing this. And you keep on going, he can't keep getting away with it. And then he keeps on doing it. <laughs> For the past 10 years, too. Yeah. Nice oh, bait from Kart. Thank you. 
Well, we didn't quite get the punish, but here we go. This is a dead soul. No point. We didn't want to cash out. Why? We're just sacrificing this character self. Wing knows those mix-ups too. He's gonna bluff them. Definitely has enough matchup experience with TJ. He's like the king of doing those uh, contra mix-up. Wing's got mix of his own. You are yeah. dying. Oh. Interesting choice. I they probably got the jab spot mistake. Yeah. Trying to hit grabs. Build the meter to snap him. Yep. Kill this Bella. Just got hit. Max range, jump heavy punch, sayonara. Meaty? Nice. Braid, yeah. Oh my god, that jab reach. Good air throw. Bottom chicken block him. Oh, what? Still should be a dead double? Or is scaling bad enough? Uh, we were gonna have to spend meter, but it should do. I don't... I don't know if I like spending meter here, We could have done a better combo, but that's fine. Oh my god. Looking like a clean 3 0 for Wing. Yeah, this should be dead. And they wait for the tier 2. It actually didn't even matter because they weren't supering after, but still. Yeah. Alright, that's up the Wing. Cart had it in their hands up for at least one game. Yeah, Cart definitely looked a little nervous, but uh, it's has to be expected when you're playing someone of Wing Zero's caliber. Yeah. yeah. Six HP isn't less damage. Final string, Sully. It's it's like ten more damage, but it's more damage. I see what we got next. Biceps and Ruby. Yes. All right. Biceps, I, I love you, but let's go, Ruby. <laughs> Yeah, exactly what uh, Pharma said, Zully. I mean, you put up a fight cart. Yeah, you definitely had your opportunities. It's close. I actually don't see Biceps and Ruby play too often, so I don't, I don't know who normally wins this one. But I'd imagine it's got to generally be pretty close. Yeah, from, from what I remember, like, this is from like months ago when they used to play a little more regularly. I feel like Ruby had it because Bayo is an obnoxious matchup for Philia. But I honestly kind of want to give the edge to Biceps here just because of how well they've been playing recently. As of recent, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Rupert Chandler going with uh, Team Seb against Biceps. Yeah. No bell. But well, I was about to say that a good job crawling this Philly into the corner, but then we got our toes tagged and we are blended. One mix already. Good block. Yep, they're blocking that. Wait, we didn't go into cat heads. What? That seems like a miss execution error. Knuckle. Pull out. Punch a fool. Oh no, we're jumping. I like oh. the snap too. I think this lock and load is very important to Biceps' game plan. Yeah. I like to get rid of it as well. Even when it was, or a, well, it was a duo for the longest time. Um, yeah. And that was whenever I played Biceps, their pressure tool. They they force you to block something, and then you knew LNL was coming, and you had to hold one or two extra mixes just because of how well they called it. Yep. 
we're gonna kill. Cash out. Do we tag to Philia? No, we stay in. Okay. We are stuck in this hole, oh my god. Wow, uh, that card again is so hello? Big Band is, uh, as the name might suggest, quite large. Uh-oh. Um, pretty sure. Okay, so... Ruby can actually cat heads there. Pick up both and happy Snap. birthday from that. I just don't think they know it yet. Possibly. Ruby needs to watch some Graham sandwich games. Nah, I've seen it a thousand <laughs> times. Graham does it a thousand times. You can definitely do it. But I think this might be GG Shake My Hand. A really good counter hit by Biceps. And game one is done. You SSJ out the corner and doubles there, you cat heads immediately and you pick up both. That shit is so cheap. Yeah, no, people, people are playing. And it's definitely, like, as a competitor myself, it's really hard to judge my progress because everyone else is also improving at a ridiculous rate. So I'm sitting here going, am I stagnating or are these people just going crazy? No, the bar is definitely rising. It's, it's wild that this game is, what, like, how old? Eight, nine years? I can't remember, we, we just had an anniversary. Coming up. Uh, over 10 years. Yeah. The 10 year anniversary was not that long. Was it actually 10? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just like. This is the most active or alive the community's been for a while, and then a lot of people are picking up the game and starting to get good. And it's kind of been in waves because we had. People like Hydra and a lot of other CCMD members who started playing more, much more towards kind of the start of the pandemic, so 2020, 2019. Yeah. And then we have people like Biceps and Ruby who are even newer than that about, at least to like starting to compete regularly in tournaments. Um, I always like to consider it by like, by like class, you know, like how they do yep. in like basketball. So like the class of 09 is like Hydra, like me. Uh, Graham, Tyrone, and then like the class after that is like Swing, Dry, and then yeah. we got the New Age guys like Ruby, Biceps, and like... It's... I'm really looking forward to when a lot of these players end up breaking into the like upper, upper bracket, so like where Cat Pie is starting to get to, um, where he's like taking sets and games off of the names that have been winning tournaments for god knows how long. Yeah. Because um, some people are definitely starting to get there. And even like, uh, to bring up Clawmaster again, he had a really close set versus Triv. And so, they're starting to get hungry. Oh my god, you really just did. <laughs> like, Catpie is very close to becoming that new top player. So. Yep. Let's go Ruby. And oh cross up, let's go. Yeah. And we're dead here, right? Oh yeah. We got a cat heads behind us too. Don't even need any of that meter. Spend the height. We you need know to that combine like Ruby and Swing to like form one Bayo player for CCMD. <laughs> We'd be the strongest. It's interesting because they are, they both play Bayo band pretty differently. Yeah, they play way differently. And then it's it's like you make all these memes about like Bayo band boring shell and it's like yes on hit they all kind of just put you in a cutscene but at the same time it's like you think about the actual Bayo player. So you have Ruby, you have Swing, Doc although he's a little bit retired and then you have a uh, scene and they all play relatively uniquely yeah they all play way different and it's like a, a character people kind of smash on for being pretty linear and boring somehow still manages to have that sort of skill expression 
But you press stem medium punch there. This Ruby guy though seems to be the most optimal. Like this <laughs> this dude is in the lab. Like my man is hitting an optimal Bayo shirt. This man, I think it was yesterday, just made a Bayo M Shadow combo for Tay. Like yeah, they definitely lab their character, and it shows. Very good patience from biceps. Oh no, yeah, not quite though. It's almost dead. Uh, we really gotta get out of this corner. This Philly be doing things. Sneaky little low. And that's a dead double. For one bar. Can't wait until I'm actually good with Philly and this character is sick. Let's go biceps. Oh, we got hot. That is so much damage. And we get the corner. No hype though. No hype though. Really good throw. That's how you deal with that incoming. Level 3. Oh, you're dead. That health bar is gone. Oh. I'd be so mad if I was by some stuff. Oh my god, we dropped the barrel loop. Or barrel loops. Clarinet loops. This is that's the wrong character. <laughs> oh my god. That's so unfortunate that dropped. Who PVGC jabs there? We jiggling? We moving? Yeah. Mela don't gotta approach, but walking herself into the corner is pretty sketchy. Crouching or er, standby kick. That is. Yeah, that was. But it's an anti and straight into the command ground. It's kind of crazy. That button just says stuff and then yells at you to get out of the airspace. Like. Hey. For biceps. Come on, Ruby. Match point. Ruby, take my energy. Be Ruby honest. has definitely been getting biceps into the corner and then just not quite inverting the that sort of stage advantage they've been getting. Needs the power, the Pizza Hut power up, you know, <laughs> the Pazone. You know, you gotta get in the Pazone, Ruby. <laughs> oh no. Some red sticks, like, come on. Oh, that's not how to start it. Mad left. Attack. Oh. Still stuck mid screen. Oh, we got that hit oh. and a happy birthday. What? How, how in the world did she fall out of there? That is. That's so sad. Oh no. Ruby had the double snap in his hands and then Bicep said, I'm pulling out the no you card and taking your character instead. That... Nah. That's the mix up that Runner was telling me to do. I finally got to see it on video. Your mind's eye has been opened. Yeah, he was trying to explain to me the mix-up, but he didn't have a video, and I couldn't, like, visualize it. But there we just saw it. Definitely the youngest member of Ruby's team. Let's see if the double can clutch something out. Be rough. We keep getting punched, though. It's not a great start. Alright, we got jumping heavy kick loops. Mix. You kill here with jumping heavy kick loops. Oh no! Oh, what? we shot it? That's crazy. My God. Oh, no, we, we got, got back dash. He ult that four. Oh, we rage quit. Posh your biceps. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. really, really good stuff with biceps.
That means we actually got the uh, Philia mirror. Now though. Okay, so we got Salty in Losers Round 5, and Cart and Zali. Zali taking out Taras, Taras taking out Claw. Didn't see that one coming. Good okay, stuff yeah. to Taras. Another one of those newer players who's been on the come up. Uh, Rubenheim Charmeleon. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. Hmm. Do you want to just, uh... I think we got to do wing biceps and then we run losers, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, we could run losers, but I wanted to give Ruby at least a little bit of a break. Well, so no, yeah, Ruby let's... will get a break. Let's run wing and biceps and then do losers. Yeah, let's give wing versus biceps on strum. Yo, great job at seeding, by the way, because look at the bracket. One, two, three, and four, five seed. And then six and seven seed. Like, look at that seeding you did. Incredible. Perfect. Yeah, that's... I don't know why I always feel like I have... I mean, granted, I'll... The, the initial seeding was JP, and I just moved, like, a couple people around, but... I also got lucky. There are definitely some of these gamers, especially in a weekly, that's like... This could go either way. It's facts. But... When, when you've got a couple players, so like, wing or biceps are probably fair bets to be as high as they are. Yeah, I think in with the lineup we have here, I think wing is definitely... It's gonna be hard-pressed for someone to beat wing, but... And for once in their life, Ruby and Zali don't have to team kill each other. At least yet. <laughs> All right, Wing choosing not to play solo Philia. Yeah, Wing stick. See how he deals with Wesson. Well, it's him playing one of his most played characters versus the character he knows the most about, which is also <laughs> a notoriously bad matchup for Philia. So, facts. I feel like Wing's in a pretty He's good spot. Here. Yeah. The biceps is fucking moving. This doesn't end, man. Nice block on the overhead, gets it low. Reset back to neutral. Oh, we thought that was gonna hit. We believed. Avoiding these drills. Oh, so man. Hard. Get her out. And Para doesn't have a double jump to deal with any shenanigans at all. It's hard for spot for Para to be. That's... That was a really good land cancel by Biceps. It wasn't quite a counter hit, but it was still definitely their turn. They caught Wing. Yeah. Right, biceps Annie, though, no slush either. So. Oh, yeah. So it's Attack. like. I. Hmm. It might be. Kind of brazen statement, but would would you consider biceps a top three Philly right now? Top three Philly? Because so so you have Wing and um, Sage. Are we counting Sonic? Because Sonic was playing Philly this year up until Combo Breaker. Oh, I was not thinking about Sonic at all. I was thinking about teams I had seen just in tournaments, and I'd only seen Sonic been playing Cat Girl of the Stars in tournaments. Yeah, and every tournament before that, they played a uh, anchor Philia with the Robo team. I don't know if you remember that. I, I definitely remember that team from like old tournament vods. Um, I can't remember the last time I've seen that recently. But if 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 we're counting Sonic, then probably not, just because Sonic <laughs> Sonic could probably yeah. be considered top three with almost every any character. character. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of top players like that. Like Cloud is another one who just knows the cask. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sophie, right? Sonic did play Philly on all of us this year. Oh, uh, right. I forgot about that. That feels like so long ago now. 
But yeah, if we're talking top three, top five, I think Bicep's name is definitely in that arena. We don't have the meter. I, Wings got no time at all to work some serious magic. Yeah. I mean, you still have like uh, players like Aceto as well. Who I yeah, Aceto like... does. Am I remembering correctly that Shade still plays the paraphilia stuff? Or am I crazy? I I'm so uh, bad at remembering. Yes. Um, Shade still currently has Philia, but I think they might have been replacing them with Robo. I see. But um, when I played Shade at Combo Breaker, they were playing Philia. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, I was like, I swear Biceps lives in Florida. <laughs> Dash up jab round start. We chose violence. Great block. So Biceps actually taking game one here. So. Yeah. And getting a good start in game two. It's like, this matchup sucks for Philly until she gets the hit. But I say that Mix is blocked. Now Paris still got the hit. It's a cute route. Oh no, did it again. I wonder if we're doing that on purpose or not. It might be. Yeah. Just to get the unbusy burst uh, and, and then try to trip them out. Could also definitely be... Wing has been playing on PC, but obviously they're a PSN native, so it could just be... Inputs working differently. Oh, we're getting schmissy. <laughs> We're out, and now the girl's gotta play neutral again. Good throw. I haven't played biceps in a while. I gotta play this game, right? I'm gonna get some games in with biceps. It's gotta be done. It must be done. They're looking a little too clean. <laughs> a little too nasty. I need some tech. I don't think it'd be nice to see them more at Evo, because I don't think they were at Combo Breaker, right? Uh, they were not at Combo Breaker. I think the last major tournament they were at was uh, CEO. CEO? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Good. Punished. Didn't believe it. Yeah. Uh, that's we had time to recover. Ambitious. That was very ambitious. Oh, uh, we went for it. Not a good spot to be in, but definitely a gamble. Bicep's proven that they can win. Proving that they can be win. Let's do it two more times. These are definitely looking like really good games. Although game two was... Looks like Wing is starting to really get a feel for how Biceps likes to play neutral. Max range, double jump, heavy punch, knows it's gonna counter hit, and then knows he can't confirm, but just runs up and throws. Feels like getting... A little bit of download. Yeah. And that's always one of the things about these top players. It's like, they're not only great at playing the game, they're so good at playing the players. God, that yep. mix. They are definitely adapting in real time. Oh, that's sh movement. But yeah, that was crazy. Sh movement into a missed drill means a dead Philia. Yeah. And now you gotta deal with Parasol incoming. Oh my wow. god! We are brave. And patient. Almost got away out of the corner. Oh, oh no, the drop. Oh. That's concerning. Hopefully that was less. Uh, yeah, I hope These two so. are definitely on complete other sides of the US. Yeah. I don't think I ever realized that, uh, Wing was less close. I'm really bad at knowing where any player is, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Wing is SoCal and Biceps is Florida.
Nice block. No, no punish attempt though. Is I cannot remember the frame data for my life on Stun Heavy Punch and L. You get. I want to say it's minus seven, but it's still punishable. Are we stomping? Stomp is such a fun tool. And especially because you're not used to the tra like trajectory it sends the parasol. It's definitely something you can use to just get yourself out of the situation in a really whack way. Yeah. Wing definitely looking like they know it's up now. Yeah. Getting a little bit of a grass on the matchup, but still, I'd like to see some some biceps on hit. His biceps is definitely strong enough on hit to mix the best of them. So, you'll pick the Evo stage if you guys can. Hit oh yeah. <laughs> pick the blue one. The blue. But yeah. See if Wing keeps the momentum going, or if biceps can uh, fight back. Fight back, biceps, fight back. Hey yo, we got the blue. They heard us. Or are they at least on the GP message video? here? Green Spire. Really good absolute card. And good GP call there too. Wing overextends, gets caught. But another drop. Like a little bit of spaghetti between both players there, actually. Wing really was leaving in these uh, deck calls. What you gotta do when you're a top yeah. player? You there just we go. Feel it. Oh, the assist actually ate it. I mean, no, I 100%. It's like. It's a whole lot more damage to do dent into bikes, but there's no way you're hit confirming that compared to dent into sniper, which is yeah. the thing you see parasols go for a lot more. Um, that's one thing you can kind of just wait and see, but look at how much damage this Philly is taking. Just my absolute yep. favorite thing that Parasols do. Like I feel like only LV does it. He'll shoot a tip, and you'll go to low profile it, and then he'll get it when you low profile it and snipe you. That shit is so dirty. Yep. I've tried to start doing that, but I've... LD's one of the best sounding Parasols player. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting, because you, you think about parasols in general, and almost all of the upper-level parasols you'll think about... Oh my god, that cotter. ...are very zoning-oriented skills. So it's like, I haven't really seen Wing play para that much, and he is zoning, but also when he has the corner, he's definitely going in. He's controlling that space. In the like, right matchup, she can definitely, like, zone um, like, yeah. very well. Especially with the sis behind her. Oh, you weren't close to her, far enough away for that, uh, Mary Gorilla to work. Is this... There's no way this kills, does it? I don't think so, but... Oh, I... actually, mm. you are dead. Wow. Great routing by Wing. And yeah. just good knowledge of damage. I didn't think that that was going to kill either, but I also didn't know that route. So. Alright, 3-1 in the wing. Biceps putting a game on the board? Maybe they'll run it back and lose it? I mean, taking a game off of any of that echelon of player is... Honestly... It's really difficult to do. I... Softy in here with the quickness. Yeah. Like, LD, especially with tears and how they think about zoning, is a really good parasol. I don't even necessarily know Hydra's thought process, I just know I hate dealing with his zoning as well. Yeah, he's pretty um, good at it as well. Gelato does more controlling parasol. Oh my god, that air throw. LD actually helped me so much with parasol early on. We played like a ton and he gave me all the advice. Hydra too with the zoning. Yeah. But All right. we got a happy birthday here. Oh, oh we didn't get the double sides for Good, Good tech. tech. Another tick throw. 
A dead Beowulf. Alright, Softy in control. Where are my Softy fans at? I need a smug Softy in chat. Who knows this? <laughs> oh no. Big bands yelling, get down, Mr. President. Taking that Luger for the team. It was almost a disastrous scenario, but this still ain't looking really good. Yeah, this is not looking good for Ruby. This pain wheel is angry, and that Bella is dead. Not using Valley Girl pain wheel, though. So Honestly, I'm gonna okay. deduct some points here. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's one of those voice lines that's like cool for a game for me and then the second I start hearing like my shoes or whatever I'm just like <laughs> yeah, I'm just not even risking it let's go softy looking good really convincing game one Ruby just could not get out of pressure I had, I had like a couple really good throw techs too but still wasn't quite enough about to pull it out there and go back to PS4 only. I'm telling you, PS4 doesn't need inputs, but it just feels underwater. It's a double edged sword. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. For me, it's like. I'm always willing to blame myself for inputs going away, so I just never notice when or if any of my inputs on PC are actually getting eaten. So I just go and play on PlayStation and I'm like, everything feels slow. Yeah, it definitely feels slower. Good PBGC. Oh, we're afraid. Really well space jump heavy bunch. But Softy is really catching Ruby with these throws. Alright, we're gonna do an armored burst bait and following it now. I don't really see Softy go for that many of those. Didn't see it there though. Yeah. It's honestly, in my opinion, me. one of the most obnoxious things to deal with when playing against a pain wheel. What, the armored burst states? Yeah, yeah. I don't like that shit. I don't like the, dealing with the armored in general. The armored overhead. Right. Oh, good block. Didn't quite recover from the gun in time. And now this game just looking the exact opposite of last game. Once, once Ruby gets started, it's, yeah, it is quite hard to get out. But again, if there is a softy character to do it, this it's fool will go crazy. Yeah, this fool will go crazy. Oh, yep, hey. here we go. What? Oh my God, you are so lucky. Why, why is Bella this small when she's getting hit in like every scenario? <laughs> cool Zed. Oh my god. And the penguin. penguin. Yeah. Damn, how are you a penguin your own teammate? That's crazy. <laughs> That's disrespectful. <laughs> Disrespecting your elders. That's crazy. I completely agree with Softy's like decision to just say, I have the routes, I can kill the Bella, and then not use the bar to snap the band, but that just happening is so unfortunate. Ruby is cringe dry. At, at Combo Breaker, when I had two hours of sleep, Ruby beat me like 30 out and Penguin me like 40 times. I was so sad. Oh, we just weren't blocking. And we're pressing too. I still think we need one more mix though. Oh, there we go. There it is. The meter lifts and had an extra screw. Yep. Oh, we're doing the <laughs> soft diesel advice coming back to bite them. Even if you don't burst, you're dead next to it. Uh, counter hit by grass is not helping. 
the story. Good blocks. Nice. Wow, nice punish. It's a heavy counter hit. Got a lot of. Oh! Yep. Oh, no. Got your wolf. Oh, Ruby. What? Yeah, I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> he salvaged it. Is this still dead? I think it probably. No. Um, 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 um. Oh no. Unlucky. Not again. Oh, this Ruby got kind of cringe. The drop Ruby into penguins? getting penguined. Selfie, I'm gonna need you to stop this wolf. Committing too many crimes. Putting the paws on me. Exactly, Ruby. Just throw. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You wanna be cool? <laughs> you wanna be cool? I love you, Ruby. Yeah, going in. I got no reward. Alright, Softy starting with a hit this time, getting the mix. Probably still need Ooh, one more touch. Robo. Heavy robo counter hit. Oh yeah, we really changed up the teams. I always told Softy that I would love to see Softy play football with Ben, so I like to see this right now. Pretty sure that the routes too. Oh no. That was weird, I saw the hit sound effect. Heavy counter hit with uh, stand heavy, or jump heavy too. I don't know why Ruby did that as a show to be honest, knowing you were gonna get heavy counter hit like that. <laughs> okay, this game sucks. <laughs> it wasn't even a counter hit, I'm pretty sure Softy jumped back into it. Really? I thought we just got hit because they were still falling to the ground. I am not sure. A lot happened real quick in yeah, this game of shenanigans. Oh, we're just counter calling brass. If the brass even gets able to come out. Brass v brass. V brass. Oh, we're... We're going into Ultra Instinct. Softy. <laughs> yep, snapping them. Wait, the cool. Yeah, I don't like that at all. That, or that had to be a mistake. Oh my, oh my god, god, what a parry. Okay, this is actually very winnable if you get the hit here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. The raw A train. Yeah, because if Ruby killed the fan there, then the Robo's coming in with two seconds left on the timer. And yep. it might have just dead it and died. Yep. I see no timpani. I understand, Leah. Two, two. Does, does timpani beat A-Train, though? No idea. Also, Ruby, learn how to spell timpani. Like, that is so wrong. Typen. I'm no so way. mad. <laughs> Top dash round start. Didn't quite reach. I'm honestly kind of surprised. Nemo. Ruby and his, uh... EX Blitzers. This man right. uses that so much more than it's Blitzered anyways. off into the sunset. Like, certain Blitzers all the way to the other corner. Oh, this is dead. Yep. You got the, the air the <laughs> It was a heavy counter hit, I'm pretty sure. It was, but still, there was so much damage before I'm busy. 
Oh my god, that's like the Got the burst bait. Force him to wake up. Oh no. Ruby doesn't have these routes though. Oh, yes. oh my god, Softy. Stop calling Ban first, you yep. fool. Lost that character as only an assist. Especially when they didn't have to lose them either. They kept calling Ban first. Yep. Oh my. No. This row is so good for Softy, but now it's looking terrible. This row has got to do a lot of work. She does have meter, but... He's dead next hit. For all the marbles, though. I don't think Ruby has quite enough time to just sit there and eat all the chip, but... Yo, you will die from this chip. Like, this is a lot of chip damage. They're actually being really smart and patient. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Yep. Yeah. I mean, Ban's got five bar. I don't like that though. You need to put a mine down. Oh, uh, we're dead. Need a mine from this matchup. Yeah. Instead of the missiles. Softy had to play that perfectly. And not even necessarily perfectly, but also just guess right and neutral. Yeah. GG's though, very close. Yeah. Three, two. The start of the team killing. I mean, technically it's already kind of started, but... Depending on how... This matchup goes, we could have another one next game. Alright, I hate to do this, but this is the last one that I can compensate. You're all good, man. I have to dip it, sir. <laughs> Dipping right before the grand finals, though. Someone get in here and cover for me when I, when I leave. I'm gonna gamer in here. Wee, let's... okay. I'll... Oop, cart. <laughs> If I lose Zali, you'll fill in? Wait. I see. But but you won't lose Zali. You got this. I do want to see this last game. Who be at in the win this game? Dry Trap. Oh! Oh! They actually made the cell mod for LeBron James? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm surprised there are already mods coming out for that game. Did they release a tool to help with it, or...? I have no idea. This is something dry would be in Discord. This is tuna with bacon. Showtime. Alright, let's go Zali. CC and D zone. Oh no! Zali, Zali here. Victory over evil. Oh, we got hit. And we got oh. mixed. Cards done that mixed up in every single set so far. Yep, I mean it's it's a pretty good mix that also has the mind games afterwards of uh and we got a control immediately again. It literally hit everyone except for Wing. I mean Mao does that trap all the time to me, and it's like I block the first hit and it's like, oh are you going Samus Center? You just control me and I hate it. It's dirty. It was the only one prepared. Cross up? Yeah. Good block my cart. I don't know yeah. about that mash though. Why? I guess we only have the assist. I don't like that. It's really though. expensive, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Or no. Although these these two have been known to have some spaghetti. I think it was two weeks ago. Our grand finals was all EV cart, and that was, um... Spaghetti. <laughs> that was a grand finals for sure. But Zoli looking a whole lot more clean this game. Taking game yeah. one. I like Zoli going for these jumping heavy kick loops, but I don't like Zoli going for the hardest jumping heavy kick loop starter when Cart has like 2 HP. Hmm. 
and then you dropped it. You should have just did like the easy pickup. You did like the OD hard pickup. <laughs> I'm just waiting for JP to roll up in chat and just say they're unstable. Why would you do them? Yeah, but in that situation too, at least try to do like the easier, yeah. like crappy yeah. one. But yeah. Keep it simple, stupid. Alright, cart's in here punchy. Yeah, butt brass. Oh, we didn't get the restart though. We had the land cancel, but we land canceled into push block. Oh, Parasite I feel that. Really DP got started though. Double dash to get the pickup too. The loops! Oh my god, Bella Y. Oh my god, Bella Y. Oh. We we thought they were gonna mash. Yeah, that was interesting. A brave yeah. throw, but um, the spaghetti. Yes, the beginning. there you go. No! What is Wait. happening? Bella could have 360 stock, right? Yes. I... Look. Honestly... I do not know what's happening. I'm just along for the ride. Damn, Kart didn't mash back to that? Hey, what's the mix? Oh, we got counter hit. We were pressing. Yeah, you heard it. Saw that counter hit part. I think they went for DP and just didn't get it and got jammed. Yeah, yeah I think the input probably got crossed up. Yeah. Alright, Zali in full control here. Two yep. quick games. Let's go, Zali. A little bit of team bias. Sorry, Car, I love you, but that's my guy right there. <laughs> Gotta root that's for the Zolly, homies. Zollinger. That's my homie. It's Dragon and Stolly. Oh, yeah, yeah. LDP is at frame one in world, and I was also quicker. Forget. I forget how different all the properties for each beat extend are. I should actually, like, pay attention and learn. I know, Heavy's the only one that's like, full in one. The others can be thrown. But I, f I swear I feel like Heavy, especially as a, an assist, is the one that just randomly gets gimped all the time as well. Yeah, I use the Heavy one as an assist, and it is a little weird. Because it feels like it should be coming out, and then it just randomly gets hit by like a fortune jumping light punch, and you're like, wait, what? I thought you were yeah. supposed to be a DP. <laughs> It's because, like, they add an extra amount of frames to the assist to where it's not in long for a short window. We did a really good baiting out the timpani, but didn't realize that the tier was still gonna hit. Yeah. It's so your very own tier, so I that be doing it to you the worst. Not quite dead, though. We're we getting out, catheads. Oh, we're just... Oh, monster. The band really struggles to get by that big old boy. Slurped up. But Zali kind of just ran in and gave him the hit, so... Counter hit combo. Well, so the Annie damage. fell out. That is not what Carp wanted to happen. We teched back into the corner. Oh, let's go Zali! Band saying get down this president again. And now this Annie is losing Three fourths of her health. Sit on the Don't have OTG! Flex. Oh, wait. Yeah, never mind. I forgot the card was delete those hits. Oh, nice. I did not take that throw. With assist, this might kill. Uh, I mean, we still do that. Oh, we weren't spaced right. Oh my god, no, 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 not like this. So you're telling me there's a chance. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Goes out. As Ollie secures it. I would have glue did the fucking glue stick helmet breaker on coming <laughs> and just said, fuck it. <laughs> Let's go. This shit's out. 
I love getting jab instead of back deck. <laughs> Not like this. All right, so I actually got to run. Uh, yeah. Nah, you shame I won't get to catch the end of the sword of it, but uh, thanks for having me. And, yeah. Appreciate everyone it. who competed, good shit today. Love to see, love to see the improvement from all y'all. Y'all are the best. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good night. Alrighty. So yeah, I thank you for doing my job for me. I love how I said uh, Ruby and Zolly for once don't have to kill each other without keeping in mind that uh, this was a possibility. <laughs> and so I have only myself to blame for causing this team kill again. <laughs> uh, I swear, these two always find each other. And like, if it's not these two, it's me fighting one of them. Or, like, us three managed to find each other in so many online brackets, it's not even funny. It... <laughs> it can't keep happening. And I'm pretty sure Ruby usually gets the upper hand in this matchup, but we'll see. Zolly's been doing pretty well tonight, so... Do not want to count them now. Oh, we didn't believe in our hit. Great tech. But Zolly's stuck in the corner. They've been back dashing, up backing. Zolly not getting these hit confirms is really rough. Really good land cancel. Oh my god. Finally getting the hit and converting. Caught by the sweep though. Really scary spot to be. But the band's been hit. Band's on cooldown for a little bit. We get to keep zoning. A little bit of debts, a little bit of assist calling, but Ruby gets in. Random stray hit. Really brave patience. Oh, bands once again. Get down. He's too big. He's too large. And that might cost Zolly this double. Ruby going for the unnecessary reset, but really saving on Dizzy. For incoming as well as getting mix. I'm pretty sure that hit cross up because Bella caught the back dash as well. Ruby in a pretty commanding position, but Zolly committing to a pretty early victory over evil, getting immediately Uno reverse carded. But Ruby giving Zolly space out of the corner. Pretty sure it's not what we wanted for that incoming. And Zolly pressing buttons on the face of that armored button. Definitely uh, brave, but it worked. Caught by the Veo Raw tag. It's something you always gotta be looking for. Zolly going for the land grab again, though. Land grab? <laughs> land cancel. <laughs> um, not quite getting a punish with it this time, and then unfortunately, their mash getting punished. And this looks like it's the end of game one. I would say, but once again, Ruby getting away with pressing a button after Airwolf. Zolly, uh, actually, mm -hmm. they should have the stream muted for connection. That is punishable by every character. That is punishable for, oh, well, hmm. It's weird. Some characters have it a lot easier than others. Especially if it's Crouch Heavy Punch. Bayo, Chair, was Crouch Heavy Punch into Airwolf. But you can actually punish that super. But unfortunately, this game not getting off to anywhere near as good of a start for Zolly. Got backed into a corner, got hit, and now they're getting mixed. Very good call out on that TP. Great punish on the armored move, too. Zolly with really good patience to get in. Block. That doesn't work. Nice. Alright, let's see what this Parasol can do. She's bleeding? Oh no, we messed with the combo. We didn't get the snipe quickly enough. But Zolly winning another neutral interaction. This 
should be a dead Beowulf, and as we said prior, Bayo is definitely the Ruby character. So if there's a character you want to get rid of off this team, it is this one. We don't have quite enough damage to do it though. But Ruby is kind of sending it, and I'm curious if we're going to take the full heavy counter hit damage, or if we're going to do most of the damage. We greeted for a reset. I, I honestly wanted to see a snap the Bayo in. Force him to deal with another incoming. Oh man, this Annie is bleeding. And we got caught by the stray chair as well. Good pressure behind the DP assist to open up the bands, get the hit. Honestly want to see this dead, and I think I want to see us tag into Parasol. But we're choosing to stick with the double. We get the mix. Full and dizzy though, so we want to let this drain. Good throw. Throw to mid screen, which gives double a better vortex. And Ruby is just eating these grabs. It seems to be a relative or a constant theme for the night. Oh, we spent bar we really didn't need to. But now it's only the Beowulf left. Tears betraying Zali. But that pillar. Ends up finding the final hit. Zolly evening up with a much more convincing game. Did not start. Uh, did not start looking very good for them at all, but they managed to turn that around really well, keeping all three characters alive. Once again, very good land cancel. It wasn't even necessarily a land cancel, just good knowledge. You can jab there. Bayo stand heavy punch being absolutely massive once again. And Zali is calling this quite a lot, and it's getting harassed. And that double is bleeding. You're not allowed to shop there. Ruby knows that. Ruby plays so many parasols. Just by virtue of playing CC and D a lot. Honestly, as well as uh, playing versus a lot of the so councils as well. But, Dolly is really just going to town. Got the hit, got the double snap. Once again, in a very commanding lead of the game. Oh, wow. We hit Ruby with the unblockable. Good on Dizzy management to give us one final string. We know we don't even need to DHC. We got the damage down. That tier. Oh wow, I'm really surprised that tier did not mess up that combo. That's really cute mix. Press nothing, let the tier do all the work for you. Bait out any reversal option the Bella might have opted for. And with two bar. Oh, we got the final bar, but we DHC too early! And it's really hard to do, but funnily enough, you can actually PBGC punish Bella level 3. So it's not actually safe on you. But... Ruby is still alive with a sliver of health and a dream. See what work they can pull out. It's got to start with killing this double. But every block special just adds more and more shit to this. Yep. <laughs> Zolly laid the trap. And honestly, I think that was just dying to the present because the, the stinger messed with the uh, timing. That is really dirty. Really, really dirty. But Zolly shoving my words back in my mouth. Taking a good lead over uh, Ruby. Hit that assist, I agree. Counter call, and you're in. 
Oh, we drop! We didn't get the uh, medium punch out in time. This is not an enjoyable spot for Perry to be, but we got real brave calling that assist in the corner. Why didn't you just level three? Sully, they were both dead. They were both dead. No. Not like this. Dolly's Dolly. Zolly's still in the driver's seat. This is not a dead character. Good block on the raw tag. It was in the corner. It was a very risky time for Ruby to go for it, and now he's suffering the consequences of his own actions. And we don't drop the route this time. Zolly looking more and more clean the further this tournament goes on. I have no clue what side that incoming hit on. That was just dirty. Alpha counter into Bella, but oh my god, PBGC throw. There should be a dead Bella. Oh, we dropped the combo. And we got. We got Contra. Everyone's dead. Wait, banned. Banned. What? <laughs> Band just doesn't care. Chips the fedora, says milady, and leaves. Oh my god, these parries. No! <laughs> Ruby was going for the Twitter clip. But in the end, Zully takes it. 3 1. Zully really coming out here pulling some upsets. Playing really well tonight. But now we got Zolly v Biceps up next. Okay. I didn't know if it was that bad. I knew Ruby had a better record versus you. Zolly finally overcoming the bracket demon. Dang. Although I will give you a tip, Zolly. Versus Ruby? Uh, need more for heavy kick. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> it just works. But yeah, Zolly actually kicking Ruby out of the prize money. I'm pretty sure the pool, sp the pool split is only for a... Uh, top three. But now Zali's got two really good Phileas to deal with. And while yes, Parasol is... Like, it's a good matchup for Soul. It can run out of your hands so quickly. And just like that, that Parasol is dead. Bicep's still on Celery Sticks until they eat the funny DP assist. And we got the schmix. All right, we're good. We're still gonna need one more touch. DP gets it, although DP scaling might cause it to... Well, a drop would also cause it to be an issue. We go for the throw, but Biceps IEDs in our face, laughs in our general direction, and then says, hold this. But we confirm off our own DP assist with shot in the car. Nightmare CPU classic with a little bit of flair. And we're really calling out biceps, or well, not calling out, punishing biceps for these stingers. Oh, we don't get the crescent. That's really brutal because this Annie doesn't die anymore. And we tried to use the Annie button against Annie, but a $10 character doesn't beat the $10 character. And now this game went from Zolly being solidly in control to Biceps about to be up a character with the life lead 
is what I would say if biceps didn't also drop. Oh my god. Off a of command throw? I'm pretty sure this double still should be dead, especially with as much bar as biceps has. This Andy's got a whole lot of work to do, and you're stuck in the corner. But that is an amazing start, because now you get the corner yourself. With a really good starter, this is a one-touch game. This Annie might need two touches, though. Oh my. We... I don't even know if we wanted that two light kick, but that is just dirty. Biceps taking game one with a 360. Uh, oh my god, Ruth Chandler. I am here. The Pixel, the Pixel Hut manager is here. <laughs> now that now that they got forced out of into retirement right now. Kicked off kicked off the shift. No no payday this how, week. How does it feel <laughs> to finally be uh to finally lose to Zali? Dude, no, I believe in this soul, and it's just gonna keep on doubting itself. <laughs> oh, we changed up the order of the team. We decided to go for point Andy in this matchup, which is really interesting, because Parasol is definitely considered to be one of the best matchups in the Philia. That's what I've heard on that. But... Oh, oh we, we didn't, didn't get, get the... the... Stand up, or jumping heavy punch. Oh, oh. Try... now we get it again? No, never mind. <laughs> but max range makes it draw. Alright, kill her. Kill We're not people. even, yeah. She gone. Kill one of the main characters. That's like, so we think about Biceps as a Philia player, but honestly, their whole team is really solid. Like, it's... They, they put a lot of work into their other characters. Yeah. But then I can talk smack about another character that's in the team, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Miguel over here. No. If you want to hop in, cart, yeah, feel free. Oh, yeah. All right. A lot of the, right the butt brass aficionados in here. They were to too be high fair, in the I gotta had to. <laughs> I I honestly don't see you go for it that often. Honestly, yeah, because that team is too black. It is black, honestly. Well, it's not even the team. Even when you're running brass, I really don't see you do butt brass. Yeah, I'm, I'm a patient player, of course. <laughs> Nobody but, believes me. <laughs> yeah. But Biceps right, has turned go. this game around. The, the real main character. Zolly keeps Zolly. teching back into the corner. Oh, they're afraid, man! Yeah, but Are just you wake up. Oh, yeah, Standard. Oh, yeah. Wake Zali, please stop tacking into the corner. You're putting yourself in a worse position and giving them free and dizzy to work with. What are you I mean, doing? I don't know, man. I mean, if it was me, I still, no matter what side I tacked on, I still would have got it. <laughs> let me, let me, let me tell you about this option that no one uses called neutral getup, where you just don't press a button. You What's know what I would like? It's magic. The, sa the same time wake up. <laughs> universal wake up time, yeah. yeah. I like a universal wake up timing at this. I do actually I gotta... be a universal wake up timing. <laughs> Unironically. But I'm also the same person that wishes for crouch teching. Because I can I, I don't like the idea of standing up to tech. Who do you want the lesson? I do! <laughs> there already is one technically, but also I got DC from Spectator. Let's go! This is unfortunate. Oh, I can I actually... Camera 2 is turning on right now. Alright. Oh, you thing? got it? Yeah, th thank you, Retail, that I now have the modern music, so I don't have to listen to Vanilla. <laughs> oh, this is a dead Philia? Uh, uh, uh. Dead for one? Bomb yeah, Philia? Yep. Nice. Right. Biceps with a lot of meter, but Zoli in control of the game. Why are you doing Ooh, that? Pillar. I think that was Stinger. Auto corrected. Are no, those I, the opposite inputs? I actually don't know. Double. They are. They are. One quarter to go back. Yeah, we definitely did not want Pillar on the other side. These Crescents have been stuffing a lot. Uh, they're a really strong neutral. They are. 
What? Oh my god. Yeah, there, there we go. Oh. Now we're oh. both. Oh my god, your characters are blowing up. Good night. Oh, Thank you. Oh, what well, recognition. Yep, we I'll know. See you for, oh, you unless go? you lied to me, Dunce. So you're telling oh. me there's a chance. Not against I, Bella, there's no way. Not with this, uh... What is, para what is with, this? Para with character three meter. Oh no! Oh, oh. Alright, guess your game. Alright, Roman cancel. Too far? Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. yeah run up, run up. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot you could have done there. Alright, Zolly, you have collected your McDonald's money. Congratulations. I guess. Let's go McDonald's! <laughs> Yeah, buddy. That should have been my McDonald's money, but hey, you know what, GG's. <laughs> hey, if it should have been yours, why didn't you take it? Oh, you know, I went for an overhead, but a DP came out of my face and turned it all around. I'm like, wow, I cannot believe I got the read, and then all of a sudden, it's not, I lost my turn. I definitely blocked in my set versus Zolly to not get hit by any DP, and then it crossed me up in neutral, and I was like, nice. yep, I'm done for the night. Uh, nope, I'm no. done. <laughs> Yo, that's what made me mad against the Vices set where I did Blitzer, the apex of that DP hit me! I'm like, yep, all right, night. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> all right. But yeah, now we got rematch oh. of winners, finals, and grands. These two players doing a lot of work, and we'll see if we iced Wink for long enough to let Biceps in for a little bit. And so far, it's a really good start. SoCal versus Florida. Oh my god, are you dead? You're dead. You think we're gonna see the solo Philia come back from, from Wing? I don't know. At some point? I think we might see the counter pick. We might. They might just stick to the team though. They, they have been sticking with the team all night, including their entire set versus Bicep, so... I love their team so much, man. Ah, oh, they have such a cool Why is she on the other side? I thought that was Wing! <laughs> oh my god! Uh oh! What? And we hit the assist, too. She's not dropping, either? Weight classes moment? Alright. Do multiple characters right, actually drop out of the level 3 randomly? It depends on weight. I've okay. never seen that happen before. It's like if you have like a squig and a band in there. Yeah, like that, it gonna, makes sense to me. I just have not seen Nothing it. Nothing can ever go wrong against a squig and a band in the same combo. What do you oh, mean? Nice but Biceps looking poised to take a game one of the set again. Now we still haven't got rid of the main character though. That is true. We saw what happens last time you give uh, Wings Philia a chance. <laughs> yeah, good, uh, good stuff, Zolly. Oh, that was a good set. GG. I'm happy Zolly got what they wanted. I don't know. No, <laughs> that call of. No, don't jinx it though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bicep closing out versus Wings Philia. Nice. Really good look again. All right, no biasness, but I got I'm rooting for Wing. I, I like biases at all, but I gotta root for SoCal. Power brackets. Oh up. yeah, SoCal allegiance is more important to you than GG8 allegiance. Why is it not even GG8 though? I mean, he's still. Do you say, do you, does it say GG8 right next to him on his tag? <laughs> Does it see GG8 next to your tag either? I don't think so. But that's because wow. I'm CCMD. <laughs> I rock both. No, no, you don't. You just put them together. <laughs> I've also rocked them both separately, and then it was too long to put into um, Smash GG. Or er, start GG, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <Sharp. laughs> oh my god, oh, Annie didn't with And Annie, Annie didn't oh. leave. Oh my god. You are dead. Oh yeah, and we got the PSN double snap. I know you're CCND. <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> uh, what the? Dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Five OKs, five OKs. Nah, Pharma. The good double snap is to the moon. I don't care if it's not good in actual matches. Uh, that it will always be the good burial double snap to me. Double, double snaps also freeze the time, right? They do. Yeah, but um, them lasting longer means they get more red health back and more meter. And meter, meter, meter scales insanely fast. Yep. With double snaps. But the the oh. two the two the the two the skies double snap. It's so satisfying. It looks satisfying. I like the band mid screen one where I just do jab jab H beat and Ooh, it's super unoptimal. Okay. Yo, my minus nine jab. Just right. to confirm it. Line. 
And that should be game. Yep. Swing I didn't mean to Yep. Yeah, the band one where you do jab, jab, beat extend in the mid screen builds them like three and a half bar. It's very <laughs> funny. I definitely love it. Yeah. I mean, the the thing of like running clan tags, etc., is just one for team events. Just like showing who's on the same team, as well as just it's it's a thing of camaraderie, like. Yeah. As much as everyone thinks of, of CCND as, like, the, the Skullgirls clan, it's unironically just a group of friends who like messing around. But. Y'all hey, are a bunch of sweats. Speaking of which. Now, who's really sweating is Wing with this True. immediate double stun. This is unfortunate. Losing the belt sucks, dude. Oh, what a. Oh, neat I mean, if you there. really break it down, CCND is a variety game <laughs> group. <laughs> Variety game night. Oh. Yeah, someone should park. I didn't say anything dry. <laughs> that was no. It is a league crew. It's an everything crew. Everything but a Skullgirls crew. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's retiring. <laughs> Yo, I mean, you said it. You said it best. The CC oh, is washed right now. I'm like, I'm getting shot. Oh, we're not? Nah, we recovered in time. Bruh. With the fastball? This H Crescent has been. Do oh my! Wow. I cannot believe that JMP clip. Ooh. H Crescent has been doing so much work for biceps. Yeah, no, it's just a really obnoxious projectile to deal with. Yeah. And and uh, especially like the like semi zoning matchups, so like double Kua Para oh, They all kind of have to either commit to throwing a projectile into trading with it or committing relatively heavily to getting in the air and avoiding it. Yeah. Oh we got counter hit. Probably trying to take our turn back. But fortunate. Alright. Feeling Coast really pilot. reminiscent of the previous set between these two, where Wing is just taking more and more control. Really dominant looking game three. Will we see Bicep run it back? Maybe. I don't think so. Wow. I mean, this guy's, this guy's just salty. I, I agree, I would never be. But at the same time, if, if the Annie just goes into using another crescent and the projectiles clashed mid-screen um that tier isn't threatening threatening anything so it's it's it, it's an interesting matchup but it's weird backing oh, oh we wow. mashed oh. out and, oh my oh, look at the assist. and now the affiliate is oh, in oh like my rib. wing you're wow. a madman what are these links? I've never I, seen routes like that before. I do not know. Oh, we went for the big grab again. Uh, did Philly got to play? Alright. This is one that's its spookiest. When Philly gets this to play. Character. Yep. Especially expect... Philly incoming. Yeah, fighting Vices oh my is God. feels very sticky. Like, she does not get off. I mean, that is that is a good Philly player. There and stand it right That is. That is. Oh, but, a... again, you're bringing Philia versus the Master. You, you gotta be doing know. really well. That was a super good distance kid from. We believe it was super good. Good knowledge. But a very good oh, start for Oh, Eddie 2LP! I love that button so much. Oh, what a JH kid. Man, Philia oh, players are Masters. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's either Gregor or that button. I don't know, I can say the same thing about a lot of other characters, but I... <laughs> oh my reset! Oh my god. Alright, here we go! Hey, oh, was that main star is shining right now. Yeah, we cannot let her play. Oh! Oh no, Ooh, no. the backdash! Okay, we're in there! Ooh, the counter hit too! Alright. Hey, yo. Gotta go for the burst bait. Oh again. god. Oh, we're out of the corner. Oh! Hit confirm! Oh, too far! We're stuck in the corner, but the second this Philia gets a hit, she Hey, imagine just if that was the overhead in. again? Oh my god, these pats are so scary. 
But oh biceps God, is in. Winning. This Bice should be is, dead. This should, unless? Yes, we got three bar. It. What do you mean, unless? <laughs> nah. Biceps don't <laughs> drop those. I would definitely drop Seracopter plus uh, Hairball. And then playing one on SG. But yeah, uh, yeah. Biceps really showing up. Really trying to reset this bracket. Be right. sick. I'm trying Yo, to see it. Wings one went away. I want to see it, but at the same time. <laughs> one went away from that bracket reset. And one went away from winning the tournament. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. Grand finals. I'm not gonna bot. Dude, the P PSN paracombos are sick. I don't know what you're talking about. They're, they're they sick. They're, they're sick, so cool but they're looking. honestly, like, not even optimal, is the really, really funny part. They don't have to be optimal, they look cool. Oh! Yeah. Exactly. I mean, th that's the really fun part about Parasols. She's actually just such a Oh, sick we didn't get the punish? We needed to. Uh, actually, wait, did we just mess up the input for Gregor? Yeah, I feel like no, we're we didn't, we didn't Gregor have into. No, we had two more. <laughs> I hate you, Ruby. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh my jab. We extended Man. back into it. Yeah, no, if we went into stun heavy punch immediately instead of medium kick X2. Yo, just arm the, arm the overhead. Yo, you see, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm being gaslit! I never yeah. reacting to the overheads. I got smoked by Paramix tonight. No, so <laughs> I, I tell you to mash on my overhead because I do it after jab. I, I have a tell. Like, it's a consistent thing I do that I only stop doing once you show you know how to deal with it. No, it, no, it doesn't work. I've been lied to. <laughs> I try doing that, it don't work. <laughs> And then I get and then I lose my character. I'm like, oh yes. Oh uh, man, that was a couple mistaken turns. Oh no! no. Let's confirm. This could be the beginning of the end. Cross Wing up. with control of this game. This is are, just. Are we just dead? level three? Level uh, one. Level, level, level one. Level oh. one. Level one. Level one. Oh, re they reset. I did not expect us to reset here. Yo, hold on. And this and the corner just... carry. Yo, let's go wing! <laughs> let's go wing! Let's go wing! Oh! oh they did? Yeah, Alright, I have a counter. Biceps had gone for that once. Wing knew. And it wasn't yeah, even against wing. Biceps did that versus. Oh, who was it? I don't remember. But that's a top player. If they see it once, they know. Oh, and just man, like they that. Be dead. Yeah. Wow. Wing doesn't Isn't drop these. Up? Unless. <laughs> oh, God. All right, biceps. Let's it go. To game five, though. Yeah, no, that was a really yeah. good grands. That was a good set. That, that, that was, was a good set. Watch. Nice. Yeah. Now biceps. Someone, someone, someone needs to summon the spirit of Wing Fan sixty nine right oh now. Oh my god! Is someone ping <laughs> Oddberry. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Someone ping Oddberry. <laughs> oh yeah! After this, I'm supposed to be like Oddberry now. I'm PS4 only. Oh my god! I forgot how much. <laughs> Cause PC. Oh yeah, Wingfan69 Wing Wing as well. No, yeah, I, so, I, I, so we, no, Wingfan69 was Juice. I, I was getting that mixed up with the Darkrai Wing image for some reason. <laughs> that, that's just, my brain associated that with that. Um, yeah, no, but honestly a really players? stacked tournament. Appreciate all oh. y'all for coming out. And a really good grand. Oh. Congratulations again to Wing for taking it all. Yeah, and a reasonable... Uh, Winnings for tonight. It was a hundred dollar prize pool. Nice. Anything for fourth place? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Go get your right. dinner. As the Pizza Hut manager, I will get myself a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> if it's any consolation, you at, you at least get to uh, turn off SG a little earlier. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> you, you said that, and then he hopped in the lobby. The, the, the spirit of Yo-Yo was some, uh, told me that I needed to I needed to gatekeep, and I almost did that. <laughs> Damn, I really let Zali get their win and the money. Yeah, <laughs> it's like see me all over again with come on, uh, Ruby. Ruby, what really happened is you came in here and you messed up my seating. What? You guys invited me. <laughs> Actually, no, Dry was the one that said no. It. You, she you, said, yo, are you coming in or what? Yeah, no, no, I'm saying you, you rolled up and then you got, you, you messed up my seating because you let Zolly just completely run the bracket. You were seated third. You had the shot. You missed it. 
Oh, I blame you. Blame you. One, two, I three, blame four. you. It's not my yeah. seating mistake. <laughs> okay, if you would have told me this, then I would have gone along with the bit. <laughs> See, you didn't tell me the incentive. <laughs> but, then yeah. it would have made sense. One, two, three, four. Um, it didn't click to me. <laughs> but yeah, so for y'all who got the prize pool, please actually like sign in to the Matcherino. Oh, doing uh, I cannot promise exactly when it will happen, but JP should get y'all sorted, sorted out shortly. Um, again, top three. So, Zolly, Biceps, and Wing. Uh, get yourselves over to the Matcherino. And again, thanks all y'all for coming out. Um, GG's, everyone. It's been... That was fun. That was a lot Honestly, for as large as the tournament that was, two and a half hours is not bad at all. Wait, where's where's uh, where's where's Jonathan Pizza at? What's what's our speed run record so far? I'm not I sure. think we actually finished this one almost as fast as last week's. How big was last week or the week before last? I think not, not that sure. big. Yeah, I mean yeah, we had these What do you? What do you mean? <laughs> be fair, this bracket had a lot of three O's and three ones and anything. Yeah, like that. and it also had Philly players. Only Murder. one player, and then everyone gets mad. <laughs> cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. <laughs> Yo, Ruby won cringe. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's it's definitely time to be wrapping up the stream. Appreciate all y'all for coming out. Appreciate Nomle for co-commentating for the majority of it, and then also Cart and Ruby for uh, showing up towards the end. I gotta listen to the Nam. I gotta listen to the Namly commentary after. <laughs> Mister Mister uh, LeBron James Main. <laughs> I gotta get a code for that game so bad. No, it's free it's, right it's, now. It's, it's I know, out. I gotta get a code it's, for it. No, it's no, fully it's, out. No, it's, it's fully oh, out. Oh, that's sick. All right, you know what? Never mind, hold them on down. But yeah. <laughs> on that note, have a good night, everyone. Good night. Take care.